Y'all, I give up. I don't know what the fuck is going on with my other light. I have a single light coming in from this angle. There's supposed to be another one coming in from this angle. I just got back from the grocery store. How is everybody? I'm going to hop on the Discord call. I hope they're not talking about a weird tangent that they're going to go on to for ages and ages because I'm coming in and then we're starting. <laughs> Hi, I'm here Hi. and we're starting. Hi. Hi. I was like, wait, kids live? <laughs> yeah, we, all of us were like, hold on a, hold on a fucking second. Well, I, do, I do this sometimes. I go live, but I like let it sit on music. And it's like me being like, okay, I'm seriously going to sit down and turn on the camera in a minute. But I need to take care of something first. And this time it was getting milk in the damn fridge. <laughs> Y'all, the line at Schnooks was like, all the way across the store. It was kind of ridiculous. I was like, what the fuck oh is my going God. on? Oh, and then I remembered it's uh, a holiday weekend. Yeah, so, it's a um, holiday weekend. But I, way, I, thought I, I thought I would have I thought I would have beat the crowds not. by um by going Kit, Friday the donation night. Thing, the, yeah, I, I the figured donation. I'm just going to leave it up. <laughs> oh, okay. Then that's cool then. That's cool. Keep, continue. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> Let's I, get to $690. Then, yeah. But if, Hell yeah. If you feel if you feel up for it. Six hundred and ninety-four dollars and twenty cents. Um But yes, hello everyone. Uh, hello Kit. Hello Sam. Hello all my friends in the voice chat. Hi Jerry. Hi Adam for a blink and now gone. How the heck are y'all? <laughs> I hope you've had hey, a, you? a wonderful week. Uh I'm doing okay. Obliterating a subway stuff. <laughs> At some point, Mac, I'm imagining you going at it like a like a shredder goes to paper. Oh my god, the other light finally <laughs> came on. Thank God. See, <laughs> there. The the only thing about these lights is that they're like um, they're controlled through the Wi-Fi because they're completely wireless, right? Um, which means that I, I run into all sorts of problems when trying to operate them. But well, that's good. Mac, what did you get on your subway? I haven't been to subway in so long. Yeah, with the class. I bet I asked Mac right as he took another gargantuan bite of the subway sub. <laughs> um, and he's like cursing me now. I've I've somehow honed into the waiter's um, instinct, you know, when the waiter always yeah. like comes by and is like, so how is everything treating you? Um, <laughs> And you're like mid the most disgusting <laughs> bite of food that you've ever taken, right? Like you're like you're slurping like, noodles or something. You're like, like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it sounds and like you you're just being like throw waterboarded. Up a yeah, you just throw a thumbs up and you're like, mm, mm -hmm. and then they're like, uh -huh. no, chef's and then they like leave that. you. <laughs> Sadistic way. I, I reckon. I wonder <gasps> if they do come over deliberately when you are actually. Becca I know. Would do you come over deliberately when people are like? Well, Becca's not a waiter. I'm not, I'm not a waiter, but I do. I do watch people. They. It's literally <laughs> just. Um, Why? What? Like, I watch my servers. Yeah, because I. Okay. I gotta know. I gotta know if they're ready to take a table. It's not yeah. weird. I'm just really good at my fucking job. Becca's guys. incredible. <laughs> Okay. I've no, been no, no, doing this for five that's years. Um, I know what I'm you fucking do doing. That. It does make sense. Know. <laughs> so anyway, it makes sense. I wasn't. It was more like the sense of like you having to watch people eat. No, I, I don't watch people eat. I watch my servers go to people who are eating. <laughs> that's uh... all. There's a difference. Mm. <laughs> Okay, um, but like it's it's really just a uh they they go at their leisure. It seems like yeah, like yeah. A, a couple nights ago, a server um it was really hi. slow, and she hi, she Adam. came up to me and I uh, made made the comment like I think I'm irritating my tables because I keep going up to them and checking on them, but I'm just so bored. <laughs> <laughs> So it's really, um, it's really just like I've yeah, heard, whatever. yeah, I've heard restaurant management call it like the the first bite check in or whatever that the waiter is supposed to like, like, th like theoretically the high standard right is like that the waiter checks in with you right after you've taken a like your first bites of food that way like if anything was wrong with the food or whatever they can immediately like take care of it you know like 
send it back mm-hmm. to the kitchen or whatever like that. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> I've been here for a minute, but was watching a video. Nice. I got ham, lettuce, onion, spinach, and more ham. I'm a plain Jane. No sauce? Back, no sauce? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine though. That sounds that sounds delightfully pleasant. Dry, you Dry. fucking beast. <laughs> <laughs> the waitress seemed new. When my mom went to the restroom, she came back to her table and was like, I'm sorry, I forgot your order. What was that? Oh, no! I'm That's glad she me as a waiter. Her. Yeah, honestly, much better, for, much better for her to come and ask uh, as opposed to, like, flub it to the kitchen and be like, I think he ordered... Yeah. yeah, especially when you're dealing with people who might have allergies and you don't remember if they have allergies yeah. or not, like... <laughs> oh yeah, it's very floffy because uh, I, I was sweating at the grocery store. I was power walking through the grocery store, trying to get all my good stuff. I couldn't find chicken Kievs at the grocery store. Also the humidities, yeah. That's why my face is red. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. <laughs> I think I need to start wearing more crew cuts. Cause I, I, I like the V cuts, I like the V neck. But I think the crew cut with these shirts does a lot more for me. Um, it looks it looks a little bit better, I think. Fair, yeah. That that's part of it too. I was like thinking to myself, I was like, I don't I don't mind the look of the V cut, but I'm starting to realize that like it makes people perceive me as more feminine a lot of the time when I don't want them to necessarily, and I'm like, <laughs> which is. Unfortunate because almost all of the basic everyday t-shirts that I own are V-necks. So <laughs> I need I need to hit up them old navy sales <laughs> and uh refresh my my wardrobe. Your regular shirts at all? I own Well, okay, no, no, no. I that's what I'm saying. Like my everyday shirts, I'm not always wearing the Hawaiian shirts. I know. It's a shocker, but um what I am always wearing are my like basic ass t-shirts underneath whatever. Um, and it's summer, man. I'm gonna Hawaiian it up till I die. I'm gonna wear Hawaiian t-shirts until I die. <laughs> Distracts my eyes from everything else. Fair enough. Oh, right. Let me, um, let me open Citra uh, and let's get this fucking party started because um, I, I, I will say, I think it's already a great success, this experiment of starting at 7. Um, because I already feel like I have so much more energy. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yes, I did the thing that I needed to do, which was go to the grocery store really badly. Mm-hmm. Quirtle! Hey! Oh, hold on! Oh, hold on. Hey, no! no. No, Squirtle! Oh no, what happened? Oh no. Uh, Kit was just saying, oh, I feel so prepared. I feel more excited. And then Squirtle did something. Oh no. Oh no. (laughs) Oh no, indeed. I'm back. I forgot to put sugar in my tea. Oh no! See if I could say sugar in a in a British pronunciation. Sugar. Wait, no, that's Australian. I don't know what the fuck. I feel like it oh raised God, you. It. You. Oh, you're back. Sugar. Hello. What did I she heard, do? I heard a Hello. big kathunk in the background. Oh. I was like, what the fuck is that? And then she's knocked my 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 bag of of fresh sourdough. <laughs> onto the floor, <laughs> presumably to start Sour chewing dough. through the bag. Oh, so I rescued no. it, and now it's on top of the fridge. And then I turned on her. I got her an auto um, laser pointer toy. <laughs> I turned that on to to distract her for a bit. So. <laughs> iPad kid. Yeah, it's like. I, 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 wait, did you say iPad kid? Yes. Okay, I was. <laughs> yeah. She's my iPad kid now. I'm. Yeah. I, 
sometimes I feel like such a bad parent because I, sometimes when I just can't take it anymore with Bruin, I just whip out the catnip and pour a bunch on like the <laughs> post and I'm like, I mean, there. You're guys, like, that's guys. like the equivalent of like old timey parents, like way old timey parents giving, give it, yeah, yeah, just a mouthful of whiskey, like to shut the baby yeah. up or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, God, I can't. <laughs> I can't right now. I mean, guys, it's fine. I have a bird feeder that attracts birds and squirrels specifically for Donna to be like, just just look at that. Yeah. Just look at I, that. That's I your TV. A, I have a bird feeder, too, but I haven't set it up. I don't know where I'm going to set it up on my porch yet. Because it's kind of an awkward. It's like a, um, it was better suited to my last place because I had it out on the fire escape. Um, ah. It was like uh, just like a tray. Um, theoretically, you can hang it from a hook, but I don't like have a hook or a good place to like hang it or something like that. So I'm trying to figure out where where I want to um, end up putting mm. it. Mm -hmm. But I have a huge ass bag of bird feed that I brought oh, yeah. with me. So well, right. you're still in the same general area, so hopefully it'll it'll still feed the. Oh yeah, it was a very generalized mix, so mm -hmm. um, I think the birds here, the birds here are extremely similar to the birds um, up in Wisconsin, uh, so I think they will like it just fine. Um, nice. Okay, let me share my screen. Yeah. And let me. Uh -huh. Turn off this lovely music. And then let's switch over here, shall we? Okay, I gotta go full screen. Let's do it. There we go. Okay. I can't I can't remember exactly what happened last time except for that it was the most frustrating court case <laughs> I've had in a so while. <laughs> I did it rise from the ashes. Probably. I feel like even right. No, I feel like even rise from the ashes. Like there was a logical thread that made a lot of sense in that one. This one, they kind of went off the rail for a second for no reason. Yeah, um, I felt like we were going in circles and saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like what the fuck. Oh, oh wow. Hello. Oh boy. Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> having a yokai testify in court is unprecedented, to say the least. Oh right, and then he was like, "I am Jin oh, Machado. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking did it." Basically, to cover, to basically make sure that his daughter wouldn't get arrested. Yeah, yeah. because she was God. the most likely second suspect. He's like the Dad of the year, but also oh, a man. fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I am Ten Mataro, the yokai you seek. How can such a straight-laced man like Mr. Tenma suddenly become a demon? Because his yeah. daughter's life was threatened. Before. Yeah, he went beast mode. <laughs> <laughs> ah! There was yeah, dust. Strange. There was dust on top. Hold on. Oh no! <laughs> oh, did you just drink <laughs> dust? Later. <laughs> oh, oh no. no! You drink oh. dust. Ha! You drink dust. <laughs> <laughs> if that was for me. This... I pranked you. <laughs> Is this what they mean when they said eat dust? Yes. I understand the idiom now. <laughs> I've gathered you all oh. here today. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, to yes. listen to our lovely voices. Indeed. Nice. So that we might be joined in holy bro. Tremony. Bro Tremony. <laughs> bro Tremony is better. <laughs> bro Tremony. With I some think pepperoni. I. <laughs> <can't>. <laughs> <laughs> you you don't want to you don't want to be bros with us. Not like this. Bro. <laughs> but Ron, Bro. there is pepperoni at the reception of our brochimoni. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you mean broperoni? I bro don't know. Bro don't our bro pepperoni. You mean bro you, you mean broperoni? Bro. <laughs> 
Broperoni. At a brony. Also known as a bro party. At a bro party. And we have some bro goritas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, on other terms, this would be called a sausage party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love sausage, my favorite meat. <laughs> I'm uh, afraid we might have to make do and, and, and uh, get some at the grocery store. <laughs> this. Uh, Edgeworth, why did you say that in that tone? I Wait, wasn't what? aware that I was Edgeworth this whole time. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> Mr. I thought Mr. Chief Prosecutor, like sir, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was playing a lot of that. I don't even, I, I don't I even like know what I've watched honestly, back in on. I feel like we honestly cannot explain to Kit what just happened. Like, I could yeah. <laughs> it was, This it is was so a sad. Bit. It was and a bit. Just it, was just, it kept going. Wow. I don't really know. I don't think any of us were on the same page at any time. <laughs> I zoned out for a minute and paid attention to Apollo being deeply confused by Edward. <laughs> See, we were we were left unsupervised for a good two minutes. Yeah, you were. I listen. That was that was on me. Normally, I'm very I'm very I like always wash off the tops of the the soda cans because I don't trust anyone, <laughs> not even myself. And this time it bit me in the ass because I didn't do that. And there was like, I swear to God, like a layer of like dust or something uh, on the top that I like stuck my tongue into. Um, so I poured uh. it into this instead. <laughs> and I added some gin because you know what? That is now, oh my God. Wait, hold on. Slight side tangent. Since we're talking about Edgeworth, um, uh, <laughs> well, we. <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly true. <laughs> well, I'm making yes. it, I'm making this about Edgeworth and then also myself <laughs> now. <laughs> Today, so there, there's like a, there's like a, um, a group chat for all of the talent acquisition people in my agent, uh, in my company, um, and uh, they were all, you know, they were doing that uh, corporate middle-aged white people thing where they're like happy fourth like hope everybody's ready for the weekend like i'm gonna drink so much booze because i hate my life um <laughs> and but one, of, one, of them, one of them is the regional uh talent leader like like a big higher up person was bragging about how he was ready he was ready for the 4th of July weekend with his 4.5 inch inseam shorts what <laughs> and I was what? like I was what? like he got he got the hoochie daddy shorts <laughs> bro <Bruh>, um, <laughs> this man is like mid 30s i don't know if he's a, i don't think he's a father um, but he I does have the hoochie whore. daddy short. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I. I don't think he's a father, but I do think he's a whore. Um, <laughs> and now everyone else in the company does too. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, like, how does this just relate to Edward. I, well, I'm thinking about daddies. <laughs> <laughs> the way that you phrase it, I really thought you were going to say that he was like, ready to spend the weekend with my 4.5 inch dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, I knew that that's what it couldn't have been, but the way it was going, I was like, I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> Max experiencing a level of terror few have ever experienced. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it just seems so funny. To, like, with my 4.5 girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, with his 4.5 kids. Come on, guys. Respectfully. I don't know. And a white picket fence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Becca. Yeah, it's strange. <laughs> <laughs> this, whole, this whole situation that we... We just experienced. Uh -huh. I kind of feel like uh, I, I left this mortal plane for a second. Yeah, it was, it was really weird that that just happened in the middle of our conversation, huh? Huh. Anyway. Even worse, Prosecutor Blackwell is playing along. 
<laughs> I can't even think straight. <laughs> I can never think straight. When could you? Uh, I need to go out for a run. See you in a bit. Oh my god, she's a jock. <laughs> I mean, look she at her. Is this news? On, Wait, what about that? Her lesbian feelings. Investigation. <laughs> oh, her! <laughs> whoa, 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 Trissy, welcome back. Oh, you're in your stage outfit that you're always in. I yeah. don't know why I'm saying it. <laughs> this is notable back. somehow. <laughs> back from work? Prosecutor Blackwell is 4.5 inch slutty dad shorts. <laughs> God, we wish. He would never. That's what he's always wearing behind right the wishes. Pussy to the bench. Fulbright wishes. Do. <laughs> he's it's got them underneath happen. his pants. His pants are tearaway pants. Yeah, like he's, long... pa yeah, he's always ready like... to be a slutty dad. I mean, <laughs> oh, God. they're more like car. I imagine them more like cargo <laughs> pants. So they're like, what? <laughs> they're not quite as slutty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you have four point five inch inseam cargo pants? You you can't even fit yeah. any good deep pockets on that. That's the whole point. I mean. I like at the Final Fantasy. It's because of all the of the pockets, all of the pockets are in the same spot. They're just attached by strips to ah. the actual shorts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it it works. Saddlebags. Too. <laughs> Saddlebags. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It got worse. Name a horse, ride a cowboy. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> whoever floats your boat, Simon. <laughs> I'm going to go now. <laughs> Who let him out of his cell? <laughs> Why is he here? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he here? <laughs> yep, I really nailed this new magic trick I've been working on. I also heard about the, those tricks that were conjured up in court earlier today. What tricks? It was just nonsense. You know, the demon out of nowhere trick and Polly's tightrope style defense trick. Oh my God. I was seriously considering a disappearing act of my own after all that craziness. Do you want to learn? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, our next trick is to find a suspect other than the mayor. I know the killer must have used the air duct in their escape. And whoever did that was the Tan Mataro that Mr. Filch and Jinxie saw. Right. Maybe there's some evidence in the air duct. Ow. The real start. <laughs> <laughs> the real fight starts right now. <laughs> the real start fights now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before you go, let me make the evidence that you no longer need to disappear. I'm going to this steal again? from you. This again? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just the trash girl now. <laughs> <laughs> I love to play with the trash. <laughs> yes, I'll use it in my next <laughs> magic show. I mean, look at the agency, guys. Yeah, true. <laughs> I feel like Trucy is uh, Trucy is a hoarder in the making. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's coming out of his cage and he's doing just fine. No, <laughs> hey, at least I didn't have to pull your panties out in court again. Yeah, Jesus Christ, please. I don't yeah, want to hear you, the word panties. Again. <laughs> like, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> you, you did what and what? <laughs> you did what? No, don't even worry about it. This whole series gets so funny. I'm worrying about it a little bit because she's 15, isn't she? <laughs> She'll tell you later. The whole series gets much funnier if you had canon that everyone treats standing behind the bench like a bunch of people treated Zoom earlier in the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see me. <laughs> oh god, never mind. There they fucking are! <laughs> Three, two, one, ta -da! Now we have to explain them to Athena. Unnecessary you know evidence um... has disappeared into <laughs> Trucy's magic Why? panties. Here, you basically just provoked her. You said that I you did. never wanted to hear the word I... panties ever again, and Trucy said, "All right, bet." And then bet. Peter, <laughs> like, I, I exist to cause problems on purpose. <laughs> this and we is... do love you for it, but yeah, I thought I'm there all that for... stuff. Maybe does. I actually know that. <laughs> Okay, let's get this. Oh, let's get over to the scene of the crime. Uh, vamanos, Apollo, vamanos.
Good job remembering Spanish for a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm tipping. You definitely <laughs> forgot Spanish for yeah. 0.5 it's, seconds. It, my, my thing is like glitching a little bit, so I had the va, and then I was, and by the time that I was finished speaking, it still hadn't loaded, so oh, I was like, oh no, no. <laughs> what's uh -oh. the word? <laughs> Detective Fulbright, mind if we search the air duct? It keeps glitching on me, I'm so Aww. sorry. <laughs> it's like, I, can, I think I <laughs> Athena has to write out her script before she says anything to people. She's like, she's the type of person who needs to know exactly what she's going to say. I have, which is I have fine. A <laughs> I have a teleprompter. Uh, I have a teleprompter um, in my in my contact lenses. <laughs> no, and it keeps which is the teleprompter. <laughs> what? Widget is the teleprompter. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I mean. Like like it's connected to Widget via my mm. contact lenses, and okay. it's and it keeps glitching because the Bluetooth kind of sucks sometimes. Because <laughs> we're up in the mountains. One major move improvement Spirit of Justice made on this game is no more magic panties. Oh my god, Thank Adam! God. I swear to God, if we get to Spirit of Justice and there was an instance of magic panties that was forgotten, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Deesh, no! Deesh! Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> we, 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 this ruined fucking... his, we ruined this man's uh, entire self perception. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you are on the side of justice, I suppose I can let you. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Plus, my own sense of justice has been called into doubt, so. <laughs> I wonder if he's been like that this ever since the trial. 100%. His, justice, his sense of justice has been beaten to a pulp. We did tell him a cab. <laughs> It'll probably take a while for him to recover. I sort of feel bad for him, but we have to work. We have work to do. Jesus. <laughs> Let's get... Oh, <laughs> let's go get the evidence we need. Okay, Athena, can't, walk it off. I can't read today. Just I'm walk so it sorry. off, Athena. <laughs> the air duct is the key. We know the Tenmataro impersonator used it to make an escape. Oh my god. <laughs> After murdering the alderman, the killer left the fox chamber through the hallway door. Then, after locking the door from the outside, the killer entered the air duct in the hallway. Finally, the killer dropped the key into the fox chamber through the air vent there. So wild. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Why didn't they just leave the key in, like, the air duct or something? You know? I don't... I, don't... I gone. I back. Welcome back, Jerry. Welcome back. Welcome you back. missed the Hi. magic panties, so good for you. That's how the illusion of no one entering or leaving the locked room was created. What? <laughs> What was that noise? <laughs> that was me trying not to laugh. <laughs> it sounded like I an said... extremely It sounded like an extremely demonic yes. <laughs> <laughs> but from far away I was like, who's fucking camera and mic are possessed right now? Because I need you to it's leave. It's just me that's possessed, kid. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just fine. me. I I did that little like, you know the P we need, Yeah, we need to get red thing like the puffed. Like, pfft. That's sort of a thing, yeah. but like... <laughs> if, if the killer passed through the air duct... Maybe that's mine. That's me. That's, 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 that was me. I do need to You wanna bagel. take this one? Since I have yours. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe some black feathers for something like that. There we go. We're even Stevens now. <laughs> we need to get red and two bagels. Well, here's our vent. It's awfully high up. Don't worry, I brought a oh, step ladder. No. Happy hunting. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How nice of her to volunteer me for the job. Oh, we're not gonna have a debate about if it's me, a step so. ladder or a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really, Ace Attorney? We're not gonna fucking do this <laughs> song and dance? Are you fucking kidding me? It was right there. I'm almost disappointed. They they brought it up on purpose. Whoa, it's pitch black in here. Well, here goes nothing. I'm going to EBDB, Athena. I'll be back later. <laughs> There's a thick layer of 
dust in here. <laughs> Hit when he drank from his cup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> Why am I dying? <laughs> Find anything? <laughs> Yikes, Apollo, what happened? You're covered in dust! I'm a ghost now, I died. Yeah, dust. Lots of dust. Which means this whole theory is debunked! Oh yeah! yeah. Nobody's been up there, or else they would have come out covered in dust too. Bitch. And also the dust would, like, probably be dis wiped yeah. up because of them yeah. so so like wild or at least disturbed yeah so what'd you find you know how dust collects on something when nobody mm. uses it for a long time mm. yeah like mr Wright's dust back at the office <laughs> wow <laughs> right tell me i'm wrong i mean you're you're not <laughs> listen he's been studying very hard lately I mean, I, I just not at his desk is what I'm saying. Yeah, he does it over <laughs> at Mr. Edgeworth's house. He, <laughs> wouldn't that leave him more distracted? You would think. No, because I'm very serious about him doing his work. It's I've, true. I've taken away privileges. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh shit! I clicked on it. Fuck. <laughs> right, you what? think it'd be possible to crawl over that oh. sort of? Ah, oh, whatever. <gasps> oh yes. Right. I forgot we have a history now. Redworth. Redworth. Right. <laughs> 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 right. You'd think it'd be possible to crawl over that sort of dust without leaving a trail? I seriously doubt it. Wait, you're not suggesting. Oh, but I am. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no one's going on through that duct lately. Kinda looks that way. If it's true, Mayor Tenma is going to be. F <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be what? <laughs> Fingered <laughs> as the killer. Why, Why did you put do a that pause? to him? <laughs> Why would you put a pause right after that word? Why'd you have to um, emphasize Apollo? it like that, man? Yeah, why'd you emphasize it like that? So I I, I blocked it off, <laughs> I quarantined it on its own, away from the <laughs> other words so that it wouldn't dirty them. Thank you. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. <laughs> but if we don't turn things around quickly. Oh shit. Injustice we trust. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mr. Justice. But it seems your justice was not the most just oh after God. all. Ugh. It is my sense of justice that has prevailed. Uh. He has the most fragile mm -hmm. ego. <laughs> He's Detective. like Bokuto from Haikyuu. Oh, you're right. He is. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm hmm. Detective Fulbright sure seems chipper all of a sudden. Uh, and I'm back to my old devastated self. Ah, oh, come on. Where's that never say die spirit? Bring it on, Mr. Lawyer Man. Bring it on. Let me suffer in peace. <laughs> Justice prevails once more. It's not over yet, and besides. Kicking someone when they're down is what bad guys do. You got a fucking point. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you calling me a bad guy? Me, Bobby Fulbright, champion of justice. Then how about some information on the investigation? We need some help here. Information about the investigation? She won. She one eighty that like real quick. Like, hey, you're kicking <laughs> us down, and so therefore you owe us something. <laughs> I'm a- I was a psychology major. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, but I won't have you calling me a bad guy ever again, understood? Mm. It hurts my feelings. <laughs> we did it, Apollo! We hurt a man's feelings! <laughs> As he deserves. Yeah, but how long can we keep this up? Hey, For as you... long as we need. Did you know I'm a- I'm an attorney. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we fucking go. Everybody buckle in. Um, so this is my attorney's badge. No, no. 
Present it with more confidence and conviction. Like this. In justice we trust! Okay, um, how's this? Apollo Justice, attorney at law! Here, here comes Justice! That was amazing! <laughs> Vocal coach. <laughs> but you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Let's see you do it ten more times. Let's oh, not. okay. I'll try my best. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Apollo, what are you doing? Voice training! Uh, How are you diving into this? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes, finally! <laughs> finally a fun interaction. I love this. I love that they bonded over presenting the fucking attorney's badge, or their badges. Hi, Maine! How's it going? Hey, Maine. You're just in time. Um, our entire case got flipped on up, up, upside down. Um, as it deserved, because it was a shoddy case to begin with. <laughs> I can't believe Pro uh, Prosecutor Blackwell would stoop that low. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, to pinning the blame on a yokai, he really wants a conviction at all costs. <gasps> <laughs> she could give a yokai a run for its money when she's mad. Y yes, well, um... <laughs> I have him writing a self-reflective essay as we speak. <laughs> I would love to see that. I am not doing it. I doubt that'll teach him anything. I would I'll still like to see it, though. I would love to see it. I don't think it exists. I don't think. I think when you get back, he's not going to have written anything. I'm not so sure. I asked him, <laughs> and he said, "Yeah, he'll he probably did not confirm." Um. Uh-huh, and I think he's just going to write Doddard a thousand times. That whole yokai business is most likely a play to win a conviction. Truth is, Prosecutor Blackwell believes Jinxie Tenma planted that yokai stuff. Planted it in an effort to protect her father, the real killer. I love how he's just, uh... Putting on display for us all of Simon Blackwell's, like, entire case. <laughs> how kind. Yeah. How kind like, how very him, nice of him. Truly, hey. truly a, a great spiritual predecessor to Gumshoe. You're like, welcome. <laughs> the big, big shoes to fill, and you were filling them well, my dude. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, right. I'd like to see him prove it. <laughs> Whoa, calm down. He doesn't have any direct evidence, but we did find this. I refuse to calm down. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> it was at the base of the cliff just outside QB Manor. Wait. That isn't the staff Tenmataro was supposedly carrying, is it? The one and only. God, this smiling man. <laughs> Ms. Tenma no doubt tossed it over the cliff when she was done. Oh, wait! Well, what about Prince? Oh, perspective change! Nope. Ooh. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> Why? No. <laughs> no Prince, but uh, if she was wearing a costume, there wouldn't be any anyway. Well, Prince or no Prince, it's not going to work in our favor. Sounds like the staff might have belonged to the mansion. If that's the case... And where in the mansion did Ten Mataro get it from? And where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> now just don't let your shoes get stolen again! <laughs> Alderman QB, more like Alderman Cheshire Cat. That is a Cheshire Cat grin. If he gets his shoes taken a third time, they're no longer <laughs> By law, you lose your shoe there's a law. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit of a fan of Prince. Oh yeah, Main. Uh, wait. What? What's what's the exact line in the opening rap? I I can't I can't pick and pick and choose from it. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, born and on raised. the playground is where, on the playground most, of my is where I spent most of my days. Chill out, back and relaxing, playing some cool, cool and playing some, some b-ball after, after the school. With a couple, couple of guys, guys who were up to no good. good. Started playing trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one, one little fight, my mom got scared and said, You're making me out to you, Michael Belair. 
Guys, wait, I wait. had to do a rendition of this song <laughs> as Mo Curls, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> we skipped the line? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> I was gonna say... I, Cause it's in the first verse, the, the line about... My life got flipped, turned upside down. Yeah, and like you tell you... Uh, tell you uh, oh, I like you tell the prince of a town called Bel Air. Yeah. Okay, yeah, <laughs> sorry, it's the very first part. Yeah. Fuck, anyway. Turn it upside down. Oh yeah, now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> so I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there and tell you how about became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Anyway, did Prosecutor Blackwell figure <laughs> out that the victim was the amazing Ninetales? Because we figured it out like way beforehand. I'm just saying, we knew this. Well, he did indeed. He's a sharp one, all right. In more ways than one. Yes, he doesn't let me hug him. It, he figured it out while investigating the municipal merger in the victim's past. I was going to say in the way that he can apparently use his fingers to slice feathers mid-air, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> the amazing Ninetales sparked the yokai craze and worked against the merger. And Mayor Damien Tenma is the corrupt politician who murdered that great hero. The Amazing Ninetales fans are so angry, they even tried to storm the detention center. Wow. I don't blame them. I mean, their favorite mass wrestler, re wrestler hero was murdered. Wrestler is what I said. Re yeah, wrestling. <laughs> wrestling. Um, they must have been shocked when they found out what happened. Ooh, bye, Adam. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Fun fact, I've never seen the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Me I highly, I highly recommend it. It's, it's, it's good. It's a pretty good sitcom. It's pretty, it's pretty fucking mm -hmm. good. I see. Ya. Uh, speaking of which, isn't Jinxie also a fan of the Amazing Nine Tales? Arrest, uh, arrest what? Arresters. <laughs> 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 He arrests us all. <laughs> um, arrest, arrestors, arrestors mask is rest. Oh my god, it's mucking me up so badly. Oh, no. Even though I know that it's a typo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, a restless mask is more precious than his own life. I think he might need a change in priorities, but he'd <laughs> never unmask himself in front of others. He's like a superhero. But there are matches where wrestlers battle for the right to remove each other's masks. That sounds really gay. <laughs> um, it is a little bit. You kind of <laughs> have to, you know, deal with the mortifying ordeal with being known while wrestling with another man. Um, <laughs> but to have your mask torn off is the worst humiliation a wrestler could suffer. Also, I just feel like wrestling itself is pretty homoerotic. Like, what, you're just gonna grapple another man? Um... What for? <laughs> <gasps> NOST! NOST! Oh, NOST! Oh NOST! NOST! Oh, oh my god! Nost. Posture Nost. check! Nost. Stretch! Nost. Hydrate! NOST! How the heck are ya? Oh my god! Oh my Hello. god! This is such a treat! Sir, uh, and, and, and Kit 2.0. This is NOST! Welcome Our NOST! Nost. Long time viewer, long time friend. You are alive! Welcome! Good. I'm so glad that you're alive. How the heck have you been? I'm a potato. How are you? <laughs> Can't confirm. Deej is a potato. Wait, did I... Hold on. Did I not give... Hold on. I, I, need, I, need, I need to make a... I need to make some updates on the fly. I'm realizing. Um, wait. Hmm. Is it roles manager? Oh, <gasps> yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Two bros chilling in the hot tub, five feet apart, cause they're not Oh my gay. god, I have 20 extra slots for VIPs. 
Hey. Hold up! Hold up! Let's do this live while I remember. <laughs> you get a VIP badge! You get a VIP badge! Two bros chilling in the hot oh, tub, uh, five feet apart because they're not gay. Aw, Deej. Thank Aww, you, Deej, for the gifts. Yeah, thank you thank for the gifted you. sub. Congrats, Sam, on the, <laughs> the gifted sub. Enjoy your emotes and shit. Also, enjoy your new VIP badge. Um, I'm vibing. Life has just been slightly insane. Bro, do we feel that? Um... What happened to my message on stream? Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> I have no clue. What is go? What is Streamlabs doing? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I guess apparently today it decided it hates apostrophe. Maybe if I refresh the browser source for it, it'll be nicer. Refresh That's cash. kind of funny. <laughs> it's now discriminatory against... <laughs> no, I, apparently it said no. That That's a Streamlabs thing. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. But oh my god. I'm so glad we got the fucking whole gang in here. I gotta use these as much as I can, yo. <laughs> Fucky drip. Um... Yeah, sorry, you came in. We were just talking about how uh, homoerotic uh, wrestling is. Um, ha wait, Nas, have you uh, have you seen and or played Dual Destinies at all? Um, we are in the throes of a case, but listen, you can you can hop on along. Our entire case got turned upside down anyway, so we have to like build it up from the ground up again anyway. So. Big world met people use meant to look strong grappling each other. Exact that's what I'm saying. I have not. I will simply enjoy the ride. That's fair. And you're right. Oh, this Oh, is it's still me. Um, that's why their masks are more important to them than life itself. They're this all very stupid and all very horny, I suppose. This is Jinxie Tenma, the daughter of our defendant. Um, who is afraid yeah. of, of ghosts and demons and shit, but she also looks like a ghost, so... <laughs> Sometimes I see myself in the mirror and give myself a fright. Oh, cool, we <laughs> fright. Oh, I, I dress this way so that I can eventually build up a tolerance to seeing ghosts. Um, I'm, you know what? I'll get I, there I'm one day. I'm proud of her for <laughs> that. And then we're, we get to play Apollo in this one, or at least for part of this one. Um... And this is our new character, Athena. She's a youngin f from Europe, where apparently you can get a you can pass the bar at eighteen, um, <laughs> and also a psychologist. <laughs> Apollo and the purple in her gate. Yes, yes, Nast. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Apollo and that grape are gay, <laughs> but that <laughs> that grape won't show up anytime soon. So. Which is unfortunate, but... Who called me a grip? <laughs> you are a grip. Mm. Unless Ren gets bored and decides he's there. Yeah, this is this is true. Clavier <laughs> is his name. Uh, she spoke with a passion that only a fan could appreciate. We ought to become fans ourselves and go protest in front of the prison. Athena <laughs> said ACAB. What? No! I, mean, I do. Acab. Did you forget that Mayor Tenma is not only Jinxie's father, but our client? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just so I just love protesting so much. Wow. <laughs> Icon, <laughs> Athena, <laughs> Athena fight. You be careful now. You're defending the most hated mayor in history. I, I doubt that it. That can't be true. That, I, I highly that doubt that. That doesn't that. sound right, but I don't know enough about hated mayors to, to dispute it. For example, <laughs> there's Pete Buttigieg. Oh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope you don't find yourself on the wrong end of a figure four leg lock. Hello? <laughs> uh... Me, on the other hand, I would love that. 
<laughs> so that's an inside thought, Detective Fulbright. Understood. <laughs> Maybe I should Simon wear a mask to hide time. my identity. <laughs> Are there any other new developments we should know about? Hmm. Now that you mention it. Our suspect is suffering partial memory loss, but he did manage to remember something. He did? What did he say? He said he didn't want to speak with us. <laughs> Good for him. Good job. Never talk to the cops, guys. Always ask for your lawyer. <laughs> it's shut the fuck up Friday. <laughs> His exact words were, I am under no obligation to speak with you mortals. Okay. He's yes, got a point. King. <laughs> <laughs> yes, King. Don't tell the cops nothing. And, uh, other things of that nature. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Mayor Tenma remembered. Too bad you can't go ask him now, because Prosecutor Blackwell's busy questioning him. Also, I find it really funny. I don't know if this is what happens in real life, but I was under the impression that at least in America, the police department did all the questioning and the prosecutor told them what they wanted to know. Um, yeah. Or like what they kind of like wanted to get out of them, but didn't actually like directly <laughs> interrogate know, uh, prisoners or whatever. I should know. I should make sure I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I know. Why don't you wait down at the playground with the rest of the kids? <laughs> but, um, wow. We just bonded Whoa. over our badges, and now you're gonna feed me that line. Get so out of here! Really? Well, you're like 13. <laughs> I'm 24! <laughs> wait, actually, wait, shit, how old am I? Am I in here? No, I'm not in here. It <laughs> Wasn't he 25 in the last game? No, that was Claudia no, was 25. Was... Oh. I'm 23! Like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, so then he would be 20... I'm 24, I think. No, now he's 23 is what... Cla oh, is oh, what G just said. sorry. Oh, Claudia sorry. Claudia was 24 not... in the last game. I don't know, Sarah. <laughs> we we're not number people. We yeah. We're do you, do I look like a numbers person to you? I was. If you would remember, I was also class seventeen for fun of the cases. <laughs> so only one. Yeah, one. I only remember I that one because of oh my god, I'm a minor. <laughs> I said one of the cases. I said one of the cases. You did, you, you did, Clav. You did, indeed. Um, what now, Apollo? How about regrouping back at the agency? We're gonna go all the way back after we came here for a single scene? Yes. Uh, yeah, well, alright. Good idea. <laughs> we might get some words of, uh, words of wisdom out of Mr. Wright while we're, we're still there. Oh! <laughs> Stroke! <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to call 911? Nope, I'm good. <laughs> 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 this just happens sometimes. I can't believe that the, none of this happened on 420. It's 418. This is so tragic. I'm like, what the fuck? Maybe I'll go read over some past cases. And I'll go do some research on exorcisms. Hey, what's with you guys? You seem bummed out. It's totally, ch like, harsh in the vibe. It's, how should I put this? It's like we're at the edge of a cliff and the only way is down. <laughs> in other words, this is as usual, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Except this time, it's like we're bound and gagged, too. <laughs> you seem bummed out, and for once it's not because I insulted you. <laughs> <laughs> um... Don't forget blindfolded with our ears plugged up. Ooh, and monsters at every turn, huh? <laughs> Sounds rough. It's important to me specifically that Apollo is two years younger than every other lawyer starts. For everyone else, they're prodigies. Apollo, I'm just fully convinced he was doing his co-op. Exactly. Apollo, this is the thing. <laughs> Apollo in these first 
these first two games starts out just as the normalest guy ever, just like someone who just wanted to become a lawyer was like He's that's just going a to lawyer. be my career until the sixth game, and then we'll see what happens there. But like, <laughs> <laughs> he is a straight man without being straight, but. <laughs> Oh god, I just ate a chip. <laughs> Sorry guys. Hey Apollo. Oh, Athena's here too. Mr. Wright. Am I in my pajamas? No, I'm not! Hey. <laughs> wow! <Pretty boy. laughs> you look good! I'm looking good. There he is. Here, here comes, comes the, the boy! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boy! <laughs> Welcome! There he is! I'm truly the sibling brains. Honestly. Great. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since we did that. <laughs> Nost, look at his upgraded form. <laughs> Edgeworth bought him a waistcoat, because you know he didn't buy that shit on his own. You can change all three of their outfits. I don't remember if you have to win the game for it. Fuck. <laughs> Why is his hair- he's got like a little- a little- what's it called? Is that a- Ahoge? The <laughs> The dumb hair? Anyway. How goes the inv investigation, Apollo, Athena? I think it's safe to say that things have gotten hairier than before. <laughs> really? What happened? Did it start taking testosterone? <laughs> sure did. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay. so proud for him, but like, <laughs> who? <laughs> it's, Guys, it's a bit rough. We got a really important thing to do right here. We have an opportunity. <laughs> a once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean, we're we able to our do it every time to add for... two of Phoenix right himself. <laughs> Your attorney's badge, huh? I used to show mine to everyone too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you know, I never really thought about it. It's almost like a higher power was controlling me to see what <laughs> dumb shit people would say, and I would say in response. Yeah, don't you remember, Daddy? We we're, we sometimes get possessed by go by higher gods. <laughs> I I think I would remember something like that, Trucy. I could ask you the same question though, Apollo. Why the fuck are you showing me this? Me? Well, I guess you could say I show it because there's someone to show it to, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> when you say it like that, it sounds kind of I don't know philosophical. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it does. It does. Or does it? <laughs> I, I can't believe I clicked the stream ending. Or does it stream <laughs> ending? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, that was, that was, that was fun. I, th I think the other one was much more precious. That we did voice training with Fulbright. Yes, that's very nice. Oh, yeah, Nost! Hold, hold on, hold on. You missed all of Apollo Justice. In Apollo Justice, the fourth game, he became a father. Um, he adopted <laughs> a, a little magician girl after losing- immediately after losing his attorney's badge because her father also disappeared. And was part of the reason why he lost his attorney's badge. <laughs> and she didn't have any family left, so he was like... Do, do you... <laughs> no, dude, like, like I can no, take care of you off. if you need me to. Yeah, he, he was like, listen, I know you don't got anywhere else to go, but, like, I could, I could take care of you. And she was like, oh my god, yes. So now he has a daughter, Trucy Wright. She is a magician from a storied family of magicians. Um, and now Phoenix also has a, another daughter and a son named <laughs> Apollo. Yeah, so Apollo, Apollo is kind of like his protege. Um, so is uh, Athena. And, and so nowadays. is Athena now. Um, Apollo is like the senior protege and, and Athena just came in in this game. Um, do you mind if we spoil stuff for, for Apollo Justice for you real quick? Because uh, I don't think it's ever going to come up ever again. But there's an important fact to know. 
about uh, Phoenix's daughter, Trucy. <laughs> okay, so Trucy and Apollo are actually half siblings, but they don't know it, but Phoenix knows it, but he hasn't told them and never will. <laughs> Um, that is another important thing to know. Um, yeah. I literally, <laughs> literally, your guess is as good as ours. Like, he was like, because their mom was also in the previous game. You, you as Apollo Justice actually defend your mom, not knowing that she's your mom. Uh, she doesn't know that. There, until the end of the game, she doesn't know that. Yeah, she's and then Apollo's she's like, "Oh my god, mom. I'm actually this person," because she had amnesia and shit like that. And she's like, "Oh my god, these are my kids." And Phoenix is like, "I'm gonna leave it up to you." And then she just never tells them. It's because she already has a son back in whatever that fucking country <laughs> like, was called. She, she, <laughs> she's like, "I have a whole life, actually. They're they're thriving where they are. I'm just gonna leave them be." She was, she was like, "You know what?" Fuck my other kids. <laughs> oh my god. Well, yes, you see, I have, I have things to get to. <laughs> Is her son in prison? Yeah, Oof. because remember, they, That's were, even because worse. they were like, they were, they were like the, the smuggling charges they couldn't, they couldn't get him free on. But it was better than the, um, the, the death penalty charges. If they if he got extradited back to his own country, so they were like, yeah. So then she doesn't even have a fucking excuse. <laughs> exactly. Her only other son. Oh, yep. Nast, welcome, welcome to the circus. She is in the country, and still has not said anything, and never you will. Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? It's no. Because the writers are dumbasses. <laughs> It's true. The gods controlling my life are stupid and they've forgotten about me and the love that I have for my children. It's true. Listen, uh, Nas, the, the thing about these games is, um, so Ap Apollo Justice establishes Apollo Justice as a character, right? Um, and then in this game, the game uh, directly after Dual Destinies, they were like, okay, but like, what if we gave, what if we rewrote his backstory? <laughs> Like, in the first one, he didn't really have a backstory other than apparently um, his his mom who, who got amnesia and disappeared out of his life. Um, but other than that, he just was kind of like a guy what wanted to be a lawyer. And now in this one, they're going to give him a different backstory. And then in the sixth one, they're going to give him an even more complicated backstory. <laughs> anyway... Yeah, no, nah, there's there's lots of lore. Oh my god, I highly recommend. Um, at some point, I'll get all the all the episodes uploaded to the archive. Uh, one the YouTube day. Archive. <laughs> one day. It 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 takes so fucking long because they're all like four to six hours long, right? Oh, that's the that's the illusion spaghetti. <laughs> that that was from that was from the previous game. It's a magic prop. For Trucy. Yeah, best for girl. Trucy. She's the best Baby. girl. Baby okay. is the breadwinner of this family. She truly is. Phoenix was like unemployed, basically. <laughs> Since I years. said baby girl, I said baby girl, and now I'm picturing Phoenix calling her baby girl, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's like a really talented magician is the thing. Um, our defense. Let's talk about it. I was watching the two of you... This oh, from the oh no! Oh no! With my binoculars. <laughs> that was one day, tough day in court, to say the least. I know. I've never had to defend a yokai before. That business about the locked room was another major hurdle. Yeah, and on top of that, Jinxie was accused of being an accomplice. But at least you figured out how someone could have escaped the forbidden chamber. <laughs> oh, don't say that to them! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, we just found out that our reasoning might be a, a, a tad flawed. Oh, really? Well, that's <laughs> bad news. How are we going to get out of this one? The Forbidden Chamber? You mean Capcom's basement? Where did you hear about that? <laughs> they won't even let me down there to see Ace Attorney 7. <laughs> 
<laughs> the worst of times. Aww. The worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. <laughs> Mia! A Mia. smile? Yeah, I that's how the force Mia. works. I miss Mia every single goddamn day. She deserves so much better. She did. Use the getting force, Phoenix. Immediately free. Yeah, my mentor taught me that back when I was still learning the trade. <laughs> me is in the Capcom no! space. Man. <laughs> Wait, Red, this is reminding me of that Merlin meme that you made for us, like where I was like, <laughs> everyone, everyone has a death mask of King Uther in their face. It's statistic, factually incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Kit, Mac, and Red, who each have a casket of Arthur's dad in their basement, are outliers and should not have been counted. But it's we are Caskets George. <laughs> Caskets George. <laughs> we're, we're Mia's Caskets George. Uh, <laughs> oh, Phoenix, God. Freshly out of a job that embarrassed supported him and Maya's appetite to begin with. It is a good idea to adopt a child. Uh, yeah, sorry, Nas. That was <laughs> that was purely for me. That was for no one else except for me, Mac, and Ren. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix was like, is anyone going to adopt this kid? And then didn't wait for an answer. Yup. Why we have caskets of Uther's name? Fa mind your own business, Deej. Yeah, Deej. <laughs> Come on. Maybe, it's maybe my business. Maybe I like to go down there and insult him for three hours straight to maybe get some, you know, some kind of cathartic I release. I like to huh? go down there and face paint it silly colors <laughs> for catharsis. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know my life. <laughs> she, she. she <laughs> Back to Mia. She also taught me to return to the basics whenever I got stuck. Return to the basics? That's right. Always believe in your client, no matter what happens. Well, I mean, there was that one time, um, Athena? with you. Athena. <laughs> that, you, Athena. that you really shouldn't, that you really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Do you remember that one time where your client had ordered a hitman? <laughs> <laughs> to do the thing. <laughs> when did Maya get here? <laughs> don't, don't mind me. I'm just. I'm just. Maya, freezing, get back in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great a lawyer's greatest and most trusted weapon: the Capcom basement. <laughs> the basement. <laughs> Always believing your client, huh? <laughs> That's why I dated Kristoff. He's the basic big stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I take offense to that. Oh, I take offense to that. It was an insult. <laughs> I get back in your cell, bitch. So <laughs> well, fuck you, I run this prison. <laughs> With what, you dick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, his mouth. Yeah, his so, mouth. Mr. Wright, how much have you known of the <laughs> <laughs> I met her during a trip to Europe for no reason. Yeah, I did, sure, I, just uh, <laughs> to, I went there for absolutely no reason. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, huh? Just talk about me while I'm not here. Like I'm not here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you were in Europe? Why haven't I heard about this before? It was private. I went there a few times to study various legal systems over there. Sure. <laughs> that is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> Athena, be quiet. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I thought you worked as a pianist after you quit practicing law. I did, but an old friend of mine needed help with some legal work from time to time, so... An old friend, huh? Is that what we're calling it now? Athena. <laughs> oh, I guess you were never far, very far from the courtroom then. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it? Wow. Uh, it was like fate brought us together. It's thanks to Mr. Wright that I became a lawyer at all. <laughs> I knew she was lawyer material, material from the moment I met her. And I have high hopes for her ability to analyze people's emotions. <laughs> I hey, love this pride of her. <laughs> oh, it's nothing special. Hmm. <gasps> Brain would attack! Oh no! Violence. 
Maybe I've underestimated that in a little I, with the psychology of hers. <laughs> it's just I thought if my special ability could help defend innocent people, then I had to do everything in my power to bring it to the courtroom. Ow! And that's when I really started hitting the books hard and my like fist that? and like my hands. That? Like that? Like that? Exactly like that. I bruised my knuckles so much. Yeah, I'm still amazed she actually became a lawyer. After I hit this book so hard, though, Mr. Wright. And at the tender age of 18, no less. I'm well done. Wow, that sounds <laughs> superhuman. I mean, was it? There's that one person who who became a a, a prosecutor at like what 14, right? It's not so. That's I'm not that. on karma. She's so, She's pretty. so pretty. I'm so pretty. Bring Francisca back, honestly. I just Bring want a cameo Francisca out of Montana her. Bring Francisca Moncana back to the main cities, Capcom. Come I on. Want, I just even just a I'm smidge of a cameo. going to break out of this fucking basement. <laughs> or personal. Like she, like she trying. <laughs> like she trying to help somebody she knows. Hmm. Alright, I'm totally pumped up after talking to you, Mr. Wright. It's like you said, the worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. And don't forget to return to the basics whenever you get stuck. Keep believing in my client. Right! Um, Mr. Wright? Yeah? I'm... I'm going to visit our client again. I think that's a good idea. Alright, time to see what's new down at the detention center. Oh, we're automatically going there. Shit. Do we want to take a, a quick sea break? Because it's been an hour. Yeah. Sure. All right. Sounds good to me. Let me put on the lo-fi beats. Wherever they went. Good job, Becca, starting the raffle. And we will be right back. That's what I do best.
I'm back. I don't know who else Hello. is. Welcome Hello. Hello. Everybody's back. I made a oh, coast. Hello. Everybody. I said hi and then I forgot that I was muted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All good. Welcome back. Nost, I love that vibe check. <laughs> I'd like y'all to know that I sent a friend of an image of Simon Blackwell and they said, I couldn't fix him and I don't want to. I know nothing <laughs> about this man besides his appearance. How's that for a vibe check? That's the perfect vibe check. That is. That's, that is the perfect vibe check. I I doubt we will actually get back to more Simon Blackwell content tonight, Nost. But if we do, boy, are you in for a treat. <laughs> Ow. Mayor Tenma, we wanted to talk to you about something. <laughs> Michelle! <laughs> Call, call, call. So, my minions have returned. He's been doing this the whole time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Apollo, he still thinks he's a yokai. I wonder if we'll ever be able to talk to Mayor Tenma again. <laughs> and is Mayor Tenma in the room with us? <laughs> <laughs> Silence, peddler of the legal trade. Free me from these imprisoning walls with great haste. Wow, he's sounding more and more like a real demon with every sentence. <laughs> I'm so impressed. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if we should even be helping him win his freedom. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, why is he doing that with his hand? <laughs> he's filling invisible titties. Just god, like I wish it. that were me. <laughs> 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 Still, we can't let Mayor Tenma stay possessed, you know what I mean? If you can clear me of these charges, I shall help in whatever manner I may. Now, ask of me what you will. I suppose it's worth a shot. Hey, did, um, uh, Mr. Tenma Taro, sir, did you know that I'm an attorney? Um, aw, oh, damn it, it's a generic one. I was hoping you'd take a look at this. Hmm. An offering to me. Quite admirable. <laughs> but the best thing you could offer me is to win me my freedom. Caw -caw! Right, right. I'll do my best. Feathers and tracks. Let's talk about that. Were those feathers and tracks at the scene of the crime really your doing? Indeed, the remnants of Tenma Taro, king of the underworld they be. The day when I once again dominate the mortal world is at hand. Coco! The prosecution claims the feathers and tracks were planted by Jinxie. What's this? I must breach these walls and go defend my little Jinxie at once. He was putting it on! <laughs> <laughs> uh huh? Mayor Tenma, is that you? <laughs> uh, uh, well, now, Damien appears to still reside within this body. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, right. But I, I should have expected as much from a descendant of mine. Be silent now, Damien. I guess a little thing like demonic possession won't stop a father's love for his daughter. We love some good dads. <laughs> You didn't kill out of Alderman QB, did you? I have killed no one. The remnants of my presence have been misconstrued. The murderer is not I. For if I had slain that mortal, raging hellfire would have consumed him, leaving not but ash. Yikes! S so, s so, you're saying there there must have been someone else there? Come to think of it, the mayor had mentioned that he'd been clubbed with the statue. I better ask about this, too. Let's ask what he remembered first. Detective Fulbright mentioned that you might have something new to tell me. Indeed, I have. I regurgitated <laughs> this key but a short while ago. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Age, is this the callback? Wouldn't he have, you know... Expelled it the other way? I can't do it. This isn't 
This is a rated, like, <laughs> this is rated teen game. PG. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that poop exists in this universe. <laughs> yeah, poop doesn't exist, actually. No! Oh, and also, girls don't fart. Hollow, no, that Hollow explains why toilet. they're all so emotionally constipated. <gasps> <gasps> oh, but guys, guys, technically, it does exist. <laughs> Because Apollo cleans the toilet. No, only piss exists, not poo. Only uh, piss. This is only piss. Because piss, piss, yeah, piss yeah. court. It's piss court. It's all coming together. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no I poo. No, I've see. derailed us again. Humans have moved beyond the need for poo. <laughs> all right, behold the key to the forbidden chamber. <laughs> Whoa! Is regurgitation one of your demonic powers <gasps> too? Bah! I do not waste my powers on such parlor tricks. Take the key from the killer, did Damien, whereupon he swallowed it. What? He sought to bar the killer entry to the forbidden chamber. So he wanted to keep it shut tight. But no fingerprints shall you find upon that key. How do you know that? Wait, is that another one of your deponic powers then? Foolish mortal! You would have me, Tenmataro, act as some asinine alchemist? I but asked this jailer and my will was done. Quite eagerly, I must add. Cuckoo! Okay. Oh, 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 oh,
Mm-hmm. That part makes sense, but it is kind of like extremely pointed. Like, player, present this to him next. <laughs> yeah. Why this? This is that accursed blackmail letter that was sent to Damien. Apparently, somebody slipped it into the alderman's pocket. We believe someone, probably the killer, stole it from Mayor Temna's briefcase. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? <laughs> you have questions, do you? Very well. Ask away, mortal. Oh, now we... <laughs> See, like, what... <laughs> Who placed this in the alderman's pocket? Hmm. Very few. Uh, very few were they who knew the letter was in Damien's... Very few were they who knew the letter was in briefcase. We got Sorry. it! Good job! Thank you. <laughs> so, whoever knew about the blackmail letter being in the mayor's briefcase is a potential suspect in its theft and placement in the alderman's pocket. Uh, could it have been his doing? Uh-huh. Excuse me, hold on. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, uh, I mean, Mr. Taro, did you just remember something? Indeed I did. There was but one other who knew of that letter. Damien's aide, Florent Labelle. Full knowledge of that briefcase contents did that aide possess. And he may be the blackmail and murderer that we're looking for. That is preposterous. He's a most trusted advisor. He would never betray uh -oh. Damien. Oh, sweaty. Seems like Mayor Tenma is a bit too trusting of those around him. Still, this is huge. Now we know who might have slipped the blackmail letter in the alderman's pocket. It was me, Dio. <laughs> Look out, Florent Labelle. Here comes justice. Let's go find Mr. Labelle and rake, rake him over the coals. Oh my god, not Jesus. literally. Athena, please. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because we're lawyers. Yeah, and? Oh my god. Thanks for the help. Doesn't stop the police, does it? <laughs> We're not the- we're not the cops! <laughs> What's this- oh my god. You've just given us a major lead. It's highly likely that Florin LaBelle put it in there. Hmm. Hmm. There's just something that bothers me. That you didn't get some avocado toast? No, I don't like avocados. Oh, okay, that's fair. Yeah. If Mr. LaBelle is the killer... What could have motivated him to open the Forbidden Chamber? <gasps> we should probably search it for clues. Only one problem. How do you open a locked door that doesn't have a keyhole? Obviously you kick it in, Athena. Obviously Jesus. you have to get the keyblade and open the, <laughs> the door to door darkness. To darkness. <laughs> the door to Did darkness. Did somebody mention the door to dark to darkness? <laughs> 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 we revealed that <laughs> Dual Destinies is actually a Kingdom Hearts spin-off game. I mean, Literally, I, I would want nothing more. It. It could you could you imagine? I could not even <laughs> like, imagine playing along one of the worlds playing in Kingdom Hearts. I would fucking love that. <laughs> that would be fucking incredible. <laughs> Except that Capcom has absolutely nothing to do with Disney. <laughs> oh, I know. But oh my god, I'm just the idea of like, Sora needing to go to court. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, oh, and, and what, all the characters are like, all the characters are like, no, we we don't fight things out physically. We fight things out with with facts and logic. And then the courtroom's like swarming with heartless, and it's like time time for us to take the wheel, guys. And then you have to fight a bunch of heartless. I can already see it the entire stage in my mind. Oh my god, I want it so badly. What is this podcast Sarah is talking yeah, about? Sarah, please <laughs> tell us. Yeah, I thought you were going to say you in a scene for us. <laughs> Intellectually attracted. Oh my god. Let's go talk to Jinxie. Maybe she can help. Yeah, I can like grab an axe for the door. 
Yeah, literally, why don't they just break, break it down? Interstitial, the actual play podcast? Ooh. Fun times. Hold on. I'm searching it on Spotify so that I can favorite. Uh, interstitial. Oh. Crossover driven actual play. Oh my god. I'm following. Hey, isn't that. Oh no, she's <gasps> dying! <laughs> what? You dare imprison me. She's acting really strange. I also didn't say Jinxie. <laughs> Well, you coulda. That loathsome, no good nine tailed now. fox, he shall know the terror that is mine in despair. Grrr, you shall pay. Oh, you shall pay dearly. All of you. Jinxie, are you alright? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, what, is that you, Mr. Demon Lawyer? M morning, Jinxie. Morning? Isn't it already past noon? And what am I doing here? Last I remember, I lay down to take a nap back at the manor. Oh no! It must have been the Maku... Makuragaishi... Makuragaishi... Makuragaishi? Makuragaishi. Makuragaishi, there we go. It must have been the Makuragaishi. Ever wake up after a restless night's sleep to find your pillow in an unusual place? Or that you've been sleeping on the floor or the, in the hallway? She took the devil's nap and got possessed. <laughs> I would like two bagels. <laughs> well, it's that yokai's fault. The Makura guy, she prays on people when they're asleep. It sounds like you just need to be tucked in really tight. Or maybe a snug sleeping bag. Dingsy, how come you don't have any charms on your forehead? Oh! I don't? Oh, they must have fallen off. Without them, evil things can creep into me. <laughs> like intrusive thoughts? Oh. <laughs> I'd say we had more a more than adequate demonstration of that just now. I'd better reapply them. Jinxie, there's something I wanted to ask you. Something I wanted to tell you, too. Oh. <laughs> I... I remembered something else. You did? What was it? <gasps> it's been several months, but same pronouns! We are twinsies! Hello, my fellow he-they! Uh, <laughs> I just put this together. <laughs> That's fair. It has been a while, but yeah. We're, we're enjoying some, some he-they vibes. To this song, specifically. Oh wait, sorry. Hey Jinxie, I'm sure I've already presented this to you, but I have to do it at every opportunity. So you really are a demon lawyer. Um, then you must know Enma Dio, the appraiser of souls. What's he like? What's he like? Uh, he's, uh, he's bald, has a white <laughs> beard, and... <laughs> and what? He shouts guilty and order while banging his gavel. Gavel. I call him the judge. Oh, wow. He's as scary as I thought. Nah, he's just an old man who's wiser than you might think. I, I don't know why I say that. He's as dumb as rocks. <laughs> <laughs> he agrees with whatever you told him last, so keep that in mind and you're fine. Jinxie, can you tell us what you remembered? Um, well, after the trial, I remembered lots of stuff. Um, unfortunately it was after the trial. <laughs> um, but there was, there was one thing I thought was really weird. <laughs> I'm almost afraid to ask, but here it goes. Really? What? Um, it's about the yokai feathers and tracks. They weren't there when I first opened the door. What? Wait, what? Are you sure? Uh-huh. My memory's crystal clear. Now. 
So you're saying they were left at the crime scene after you found it? This could spell major trouble, Apollo. This also overturns everything that we just established in the previous day of trial. Like, <laughs> Yeah, why? I'm sorry I made your life a living hell. <laughs> it happens, Jinxy. Don't don't worry about yeah. it. it. Every every single case is like pulling teeth. Yep. Wow, you mustn't have much teeth left. They grow back like uh, like we, a sharks. We have an excellent <laughs> dental care. <laughs> yeah, the 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 right everything agency may not have much, but it does have good dental. Mhm. Mm That's why I work here. Uh, you, Becca. I oh, sorry. Know. I thought sorry. I thought that was Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're just sitting here extending the bit, waiting for you to decide to say your lies. Sorry, I, I thought it said Apollo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because Jinxie is already accused of leaving the feathers and tracks at the scene. If they weren't there when she discovered the crime scene, it will totally fuel the claim that she fabricated the evidence later on. <sighs> Jinxie's fuzzy memory of the whole incident is really working against us. Oh, I'm really sorry. The prosecution will probably say she doesn't remember planting the evidence. Also, it's fine. <laughs> good luck for budding that. <laughs> oh man, this is not good. I sure hope. I sure hope she didn't plant the evidence while she was sleepwalking <laughs> or something. Yes, I added it in like a bit of sprinkle and soup. <laughs> Jinxie, you wouldn't happen to know how to open the Forbidden Chamber, would you? That door doesn't even have a keyhole. Oh, well, I, it's supposed to have a secret mechanism. They say you have to figure it out before the keyhole will appear. A secret mechanism? Really? Mm hmm Um, it's hidden in the Fox Chamber. But only Alderman Kyuubi knew what it was and how it worked. And he didn't tell anybody else because they have no contingency plans. <laughs> of course not. The Alderman of Nine Tails Vale sure loved his secrets. Apollo, ow! Oh, let's go see if we can find that secret mechanism. Whoa, slow down! <laughs> There's something else I need to ask about. Jinxie, is there only one key to the Forbidden Chamber? Yes, um, even the manor's master key won't open it. That's because it's a very special room that must never be opened. Because it's forbidden? Yeah, I guess that means nobody entered the forbidden chamber after the murder. After mm, because all, it's forbidden. We know Mayor Tenma took the key from the killer and swallowed it, so... <laughs> because it's forbidden? Is it forbidden so... to swallow the key? Apparently not, because he did it. True. <laughs> so the mayor's <laughs> efforts to keep the killer out of the forbidden chamber... <laughs> Wait, I like the idea that she started rushing off, but Apollo grabbed hold of her ponytail and he was like, Whoa, hold up! <laughs> oh, that's definitely what happened. I, there was like a slap, at, like, sound effect when it happened, too. I'm like, 100%. <laughs> he like, just, well, wait, hold on here. <laughs> We're not in vain. Okay. So... <laughs> oh, I can go here to talk to Athena specifically. Um... Oh, you're here too. Wow. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm always here. Every step here. you <laughs> take, <laughs> every move you make, every breath you, you take, I'll, I'll be watching, watching you. you. <laughs> um, can we? Oh, so can we not examine the room right now? <laughs> Currently not. No. Can we? Wait, what what the fuck were we doing? <laughs> I mean, 
it was, it, we had Did talked we about finding the thing, but... Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the Should key. we present the key to him? And be like, hey... Justice needs backup sometimes, too. Uh, so I don't mind you asking for help, but you should start by thinking things over wow. yourself. Wow. After That's all, weird. the road to justice starts with your own first step. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. If you don't have any information to offer, you could just say so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Understood. <laughs> I guess my only question is, where is LaBelle? Fucking off. Where's LaBelle? Where's <laughs> LaBelle? Oh shit, I didn't mean to go here. Or is there more that we need to ask, uh, Jinxie? Does she know about LaBelle? Uh, unfortunately in this game we can't present profiles. Lame. I mean, I guess we could present the blackmail letter. Hey, did you know your dad was getting blackmailed? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, what's this? <laughs> A Tsukumogami? Mogami? Tsukumogami? A Tsukumogami? A yokai that inhabits objects that have been used for a really long time. The red demon and a Tsukumogami. I need to hear these words aloud first. I think it's, I, yeah, Tsukumogami. Tsukumogami. Just to get the inflection right. Mm. Um, the red demon and a Tsukumogami. What a strange combination. <laughs> Is everything to her some supernatural phenomenon? Yes, that's her shtick. Keep mm. up, Apollo. Jeez, I'm trying. Try harder. Maybe I will. Get good. Oh, there he is. Yeah, get good, Apollo. I'm g okay. I'm gonna look up the guide. I'm a little stuck. Unless you, one of you wow. guys has a bright idea. You know, there are these a other bright. types of yokai that, like, steal your bright <laughs> ideas. Oh. And I think they might be infecting my brain <gasps> right now. Me too, bitch. The fuck? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Would okay, you see. like to... No, I'm, like I'm, to... I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Um... Yeah. Oh, right. We didn't ask uh, Jinxie about the statue. Oh. It was supposed oh. to be like a secret gift and shit. Sorry about that, Jinxie. We left for a while. Um. Oh wait. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The evil. Perfect. Alderman Kirby made that statue. It's a token of goodwill, and is now covered in blood. I think it was meant to be for Nine Tails Vale and Tenma Town. Didn't they pull the only one key to the chamber stick before? No, they they were like there were two keys to the chamber. And one of them Jinxie had the whole time, so. They didn't name her superstition. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> that would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> no, that's um that's my uh gamer username. Oh my god. A uh, token of goodwill. But the two yokai are fighting. Fighting? Oh, I see what you mean. The cup portion is missing. The cup? <laughs> There's a cup? Yeah. Um, it's because they're hand fasting, actually. They get <gasps> married. They're getting Aww, that's kind of cute. Um, this statue, uh. Originally depicted the two yokai holding up a cup in celebration. But it sure doesn't look that way now, does it? I guess they're divorced. Oh. Maybe it broke when it was used to hit me or ten mile on the head. That would explain it. I guess the only two people who knew what it really looked like were the alderman and I. 
Now it's just me, and its symbol of goodwill for it be, will be forever etched in my mind. Aww. So, is there anything else we should know about Jinxie? Hmm. No. That's about it, I think. Uh, my bracelet! It's reacting! Jinxie, you wouldn't happen to be. Oh my god. <laughs> Injustice you can trust! Yikes! Detective Fulbright, what the fuck are you doing here? I have business with this young lady, if you must know. Oh my god, they added the <laughs> You've got no business with me, you spirit! Prosecutor Blackwell has asked me to question her. Question me? I'm sorry, not interested. <laughs> I am married to my religion. <laughs> <laughs> She's a nun? I thought she was dating Trucy. <laughs> no, I'm not a nun, but anything to get this dude off me. I... Okay. Are you here to ask about that whole yokai affair? That's right. Specifically, we want to ask... Ah, but I can't tell oh you that. God. Now can I? <laughs> Bitch, just once. Well... A oh, Mr. come on, Damon? please! We're partners in justice, right? Mr. Demon Lawyer, I'll tell you later. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Jinxie. I might forget about it, though. Uh, no, I'll, I won't forget for you. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> no, no, but I, I might forget what it is he asks me. <laughs> <laughs> then write it down. <laughs> I might forget to do that, too. <laughs> do it while he's asking you. That might be suspicious. What are you writing? <laughs> Don't worry about it. She can do what she wants. My right. entry. You, you rake. <laughs> She's writing an essay about justice. Okay. Oh, keep going. <laughs> no, no. no. Pro prosecutor, <laughs> professor, pro prosecutor Blackwell <laughs> specifically <laughs> told me my questions were of the utmost justice. <laughs> Uh oh. I can't believe Fulbright and Mac just fucking died. <laughs> so tragic. I will not fall for your lies. Injustice we trust. There oh, we go. No. We have to pray over his body so he doesn't get possessed. Right. <laughs> the twisted. <laughs> the twisted samurai <laughs> sure has a lot of short leash. You wouldn't let him die that easy. So you're not a ghost? Maybe some sort of urban troll then? <laughs> what? Now come along, Miss Tenma, to the station with you. I will not be kidnapped by a troll. <laughs> Too late. He took her away. <laughs> this is my chance to see what she was lying about. Well, at least we found out there's a secret mechanism for opening the chamber. Wow. Let's go check it out. Becca, I cannot tell you how much I love that every time she does that, you do, you do a jump of delayed out. Yes. <laughs> like I saw an entire second later. It's so good. I'm glad you guys liked it. It's, just, it's, it's so such a loud good. snap or like yeah. sound, you know? So I'm like, it has to hurt. <laughs> I think she's just, she just clearly was a drum major at some point, I feel like. Because I remember she... when I was a drum major, I had to learn how to make my claps the loudest they could be. Yeah, I was going to say, I I bet her, her the reason why she wears the glove is because her, her fucking clap is so fucking loud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta head off for the night. Good to see you and hope you have a lovely rest of time. Thank you, Nost. Oh, hydrate. I mean, all I have right Bye now is Nost. my peach wine, but... Love you, Nost. We love Happy you, time Nost. Zone. We are all love Nost. Happy time zones. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great rest of your night. Bye. Happy time zones. My key not talking this much, this stream. Crime. <laughs> <laughs> all the heathens out there. This one's for you. He, all the he days out there. All in misses. <laughs> yeah, that one. This one's for all my he days. It, it's like that one. 
You know that What's meme with name? like uh, with uh, Spider Man three, and it's like this one's for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I was thinking about that one old Vine that was like, "This one's to end racism," and he goes to shoot it and misses, and then it pans Ooh. over to him. And he's standing there like, "Ooh." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like that one. We've seen her use her glove to control widget, which just makes punching it worse. It's like a <laughs> mini computer in there. <laughs> She's gonna break it. Oh. Guys, I think she oh. designed it to make sure it wouldn't break easily. No, you know what? I, I know what she's doing. She's doing that thing where when your computer is acting up, you smack <laughs> the shit out of it to get it to keep working. <laughs> That's what That's she's exactly doing with it. her glove and widget. <laughs> I just hope they let us in now. Yeah, percussive maintenance. Every friend group should include. Every friend <laughs> group. <laughs> every friend group. <laughs> could include a bimbo, a mean bisexual, an even meaner lesbian. She they's and he they's a token streak that's on thin fucking ice. An astrology bitch who has everyone's birth chart memorized and a short king. Yeah, lucky for you all, I'm both uh, a he they and a short king. So I guess. Oh mm. yeah. Wait, Mac, Wait how, how tall, tall are, are you, you again? Max also a short king. Max shorter yeah. than me. He's my height. Mac I'm and five, I are three. five three. Oh, five, three. okay. Never mind. Mac is the short king because hey. Mac is not Wait a he a they. Second. Am I the tallest person in this group? I'm 5'4". Yes. How tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five, five. I'm 5'6". Five, <gasps> okay, it's Becca, thank God. Becca's <laughs> not a shot of soul. Becca's our mean bisexual. You're also the youngest. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's, that's how it goes, usually. D! I'm not the youngest is usually. D, you giant- What the- Dude, the chat is all God, giant! Why are you all tall? You're so what tall, wow. What the fuck? We kind yeah, of I'm not a variable for it. Cusco up in this bitch. Would I be the astrology bitch, even though I don't do astrology? Like I had your heights memorized. Mm. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> we can call it the the ace bitch. Still an A. Okay. You could be an even meaner ace, <laughs> even though that's not even true. <laughs> Why? Are you, I, it's because I hate milk. I mean, I drank milk growing up, but it's still yeah. I drank so much favors. milk. Well, Becca, I mean, that's why you... you're five six instead of five well, four. Well, but not five ten is what I'm saying, though. Well, yeah, like, <laughs> but both okay. of our parents are five like seven. You know, that's so. fair. Our parents are short yeah. comparatively. I because th I, I think both of our parents are like the exact same. I think, time, right? I think Dad's like an inch or two taller than me, but I don't quote me on that. I don't. Dad might be like five. Uh, well, I, I I was under the impression they were both like five seven. So, well, I think I'm taller than mom by just a like, tiny bit. Six seven. Six. That's Danny. Oh wow. my Whoa. god. Yeah, Danny, our stepbrother. Holy shit. Oh man. He hit, what, what what was the year? I feel like I was definitely a it was year like... that I was in college that he had his final gigantic growth spurt and i came it home like... and i was like what the, <laughs> who the fuck is this person i think he was like i think it was like sophomore year of like our sophomore year yeah that makes sense it was that that would have been like my uh my like final year of college or whatever yeah it was like early and early just, high school all of a, se all of a suddenly... sudden danny was just like he's no like he's Danny. like six I want to say he's like 6'9 or 6'8 or something. He's something Whoa. ridiculous. And here's the thing. Neither of his parents are like that tall either. Yeah, he's like a solid half foot taller than both of his parents. They yeah. Like... just like combine their heights in his jeans. <laughs> I guess. I'm just like, I, I remember coming home and being baffled. Like, I, I was like, hey, everybody, I'm home. And like giving everybody hugs. And then Danny walks in the room and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, Hello? it's like like, no, like a foot and a half. And like it's like a foot and a half. <laughs> it's like I was taller. Just like, oh, what, the like, what happened to you? What happened to my baby stepbrother? Not that he was like super short before then, because he—I mean, he was probably he was probably around your height before that. Yeah, some, something like that. I think I succeeded because I'm taller than my mom. 
she and I have identical bodies, but my dad is six foot tall and everyone in his family is tall. But everyone in my family, mom's family is short. <laughs> the only two people in my family that are shorter than me are my grandmother. Our grandma's so short. <laughs> and she's my, so tiny. And my aunt, God. who isn't even like, she's married into the family. So. <laughs> yeah, our grandma I is. Am, Grandma's sure, gotta I'm like be 161 like, centimeters. She's like 411 probably, or something. Yeah, something like that. Really, like. But I don't uh, know how. I don't know how old uh, tall she was uh, when she was younger. Because definitely, yeah. it is actually a thing. Like your bones do fucking shrink when you get old, which is fucking mm. incredible. <laughs> you do. You can lose inches. <laughs> oh yeah, both my grandparents have, and my granddad mm. was near. Like he was six foot something, and now he's. Less than that. I don't know where. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know how we started on that. Oh my god. He's here! Oh. What happened to him? Bro! <laughs> Who are you? Or she has blue hair and purple. <laughs> I hated the roast thing. Can oh he stop? It's a, uh, excuse <laughs> you. It's actually a carnation. Please stop fingering your carnation. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh wait, guys. Last, last side tangent. Um, I was looking at piercing shops in the local area because one mm-hmm. of my friends. I need to get my ears re-pierced, and one of my friends recommend a piercing shop. And I looked it up on the map, and the first image that they had was a flower with a piercing in the middle of it, and you're like, oh. I see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see what you're advertising here. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, okay. I, I'm all for, for people doing that. I could never. Like, I owl. could never uh-huh. either, but I'm just like, wow. Like, they, what the, they really yeah, do like, how to advertise. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Oh, what an absolutely fabulous scent. <laughs> I'm so glad I had these carnations imported from England. Nothing but the finest will do. <laughs> Perhaps I should place one aside for our dearly departed alderman. Hey, it's Mr. LaBelle. I thought she was going to talk to him, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, give me a carnation too. <laughs> Paula, let's ask him about you know what. Oh, yeah. Before we search the fox chamber, we should ask about the blackmail letter. Why, if it isn't the mayor's little lawyers, what do you want with me? Oh, um, there's something we wanted to ask. What? <laughs> Where's that oh ring my coming God. from? <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Hello? LaBelle here. Mm-hmm. What's up? Uh-huh. Those things on his shoulders are self- Honestly? Business king. <laughs> yes, about that. You must forgive me. This whole matter with Mayor Tenma has been a complete nightmare. Where do you buy clothes like that? Surely that's Athena. flammable. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised? This is my own special design. It's the ultimate in functional beauty. Functional, functional is worth <laughs> Functional beauty? Are you sure about that? It looks a bit unwieldy to me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you simply don't have an eye for beauty. If having an eye for beauty means looking like this guy, I'd rather be blind. He functions as kindling. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want with me? Nothing. But did you know that I'm a lawyer? <laughs> yes. Do you always go around sticking your hand in other people's faces? Do you always go around fondling your carnation in public? I do. Then you have your answer. I just wanted to show you this. Ah, yes, you do have something in that grimy paw of yours. 
Oh my god. But I only have eyes for things of beauty. I polished this. Now, if you would excuse me. Yes, I'll only look at stuff that interests him. Why does he look like a very badly reconstructed vintage couch? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The cups. Yep. It's like, the really badly restored to the point that it like doesn't look like its original thing at all mm -hmm. and it just looks shit grimy paw excuse me i'm a very cute cat boy <laughs> here's a question is apollo justice a cat boy because i feel like maybe uh, he's a dog boy <laughs> yeah he's like a little he's like a little dog but he's very cat like it's no the way he yaps He's like a yeah. little dog. He's like very <laughs> yeah, loud. Yeah, he's like always screaming at people. <laughs> but not in a yeah, cat way, but in like a like in a like a like a percussive way. <laughs> he's not full of love though, like a dog is. I mean, not all dogs are full have of love. Have you seen a little, a little yappy dog that little yaps dog. at you? <laughs> like... I guess not. I only have experience with like a golden retriever and stuff. So. Oh, trust me, little dogs will. I think he's a little dog. <laughs> a little dog boy. <laughs> but I think like if you were a human like Clav and you were trying to give him love like Clav, he would react like a cat. Like, yeah. get away from me. This is yeah, true. Wait, wants... oh my god. Oh my he god. He is a cat because he wants love on his own oh, terms. Oh my god. Is Clav here? A golden retriever boy. Oh, he's definitely. I definitely oh, thought yeah. of him as like a big dog kind of person. He is like a big dog. So what you're saying is he's a fox? No, that's Walkie Kitaki. <laughs> he no, he's a he's a dog with cat coating. You know. <laughs> he's a cat. He's a dog, dog that was raised by cats. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Both Jinxie and Mr. Filch said they saw Ten Mataro. But what about you, Mr. Lobel? If you were in the foyer, why didn't you see? <coughs> oh, <God>. oh! <laughs> Very well, I admit it. People could be allergic to that, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, Floyd Lobel, saw the demon Ten Mataro. Mm. So he did see something. Then why did you lie about not seeing him? Oh, I was simply trying to protect dear little Jinxie. Protect Jinxie? What do you mean? Why, don't tell me you haven't heard of that strange little habit of hers. See, he's a cat boy. He's being sprayed. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Which one are we talking about? The one where she wanders around making mischief without knowing what she's doing. Rumor has it she's possessed by Ten Mataro. That one's new to me. Oh! <laughs> well, there you have it. Uh-oh. A lady comes screaming. <laughs> lady? A little old baby? A lady. Oh, I get to a lady. little old baby? Speaking of cats. It's a lady! It's a lady. Hello, Sk Hello, Birdle! Oh. Are you so soft and sweet? How are you? Why were you screaming at me? Do you just want to be held? Do you just want to be close by? <laughs> Y'all, it was like so sweet. Before I got the couch moved in here, um, and when, like, the floor was just, like, big and empty and whatnot, she would just, like, come over and be a loaf on the floor next to me while oh. I was at the desk. Oh. She just wants to be near me. She loves you. She loves me. Isn't that right? You love me. <laughs> you love me. I love you. <laughs> She's like, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Now enough. you smother me. <laughs> oh, I have an I have a very important um, new collar that I need to put on her. I need to show you Aww. guys later. Okay. Oh. 
Anytime you hear about a Tenma Taro sighting, Little Jinxie should be your prime suspect. Ugh. It's more about that rumor. Nope. Why did it flip? Okay. <laughs> So what was that rumor about Jinxie? They say she's possessed. Not all the time, of course. It hits suddenly. Then she starts wandering around doing strange things. <laughs> Is that so? Well, come to think of it. That looks a no good nine tailed fox. You shall know <laughs> That is mine and swear. <laughs> that certainly would explain how she was acting earlier. Once, she even put on a Tenmataro costume and wandered around the woods at night. Jesus. I mean, you heard the sound of her voice. <laughs> she did? Oh my god! Oh, the anime. I'm very lost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I that? also do this at night. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, she's a young girl. What is she supposed us? to do? That's yeah, for the tea, that's for that's the tea girl this flag. This happens like all uh -huh. the time. Like I have this condition. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to like core at the moon. Yeah. Uh, I never wish I'd. I wish I'd never asked. Does she remember anything while she's possessed? Unfortunately, no. She doesn't seem to remember a thing during these episodes. Memory loss during possession. Hmm. Come to think of it, her memory of the murder scene was quite fuzzy. I suppose that too was caused by her possession. This is reminding me of uh, one of the Nancy Drew games where, um... They did that wonderful thing where it borders, uh, in Nancy Drew games, where it borders, uh, it, like, straddles the line between, like, supernatural and plausible, like, really well. Anyway, there was someone, um, who was, like, uh, convinced they were becoming a werewolf, um, but then they were like, actually, no, and actually this is a documented, like, psychological thing, like, a delusion that some people go through. Like, lycanthropy as, like, an actual thing where people are, like, convinced that they are becoming uh, a werewolf or whatever. Uh, and now this is just reminding me of that. Ah! Then maybe... Oh! <laughs> so you do understand. That whole yokai business was entirely of her own making. Now, wait a minute! Although, that yokai evidence wasn't there until after she discovered the crime scene. Did she leave those black feathers and strange tracks there herself? Follow. Let's ask Mayor Tenma about Jinxie's episodes the next time we talk with him. Okay, last thing. Did you fucking blackmail him, you bitch? Oh, wait, I have to. I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's the blackmail letter, but it wasn't sent to Alderman Kyuubi. It was sent to Mayor Tenma. And? Your point being? Someone took the letter from the mayor's briefcase and then placed it in the alderman's pocket after he was murdered. Oh, you don't say. You wouldn't happen to be the one who made the switch, would you? After all, you're the only one that knew the blackmail letter was in his briefcase. So naturally you- <laughs> oh, Perhaps that shot of cologne will make those scales fall from your eyes. My eyes fall from their sockets. 
Is it possible that you would like to frame me as a potential suspect? Uh, no, I'm saying you are a potential suspect. I'm not even framing you. What would make you raise such an outrageous allegation in the first place? Oh, uh, your general air of suspicion? Oh, you can see her in the back there for a second. Oh, she sit. Oh. See that? That's a bird. Little seat. That's a bird. Oh, my only crime oh. is being born as beautiful as you see here. In well, other words. Well, like I say in the scene, Oh. <laughs> kind of Goodbye, bud. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and man, am I not beholding it. Oh, yeah. Me neither. In other words, <laughs> you have nothing. I have, like, the hottest rock star boyfriend, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I have the most cottage core ass girlfriend in the world, so. Now he's spanking I like it. These people. <laughs> what? Yeah, hey, hey. Stop spanking. What? <laughs> And now. he's like breaking its neck. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you what to do with this garbage. Well, you can't destroy evidence like that. What do you mean I can't? I just oh did. My God. <laughs> you a little lighter now. You just he's want a one way stimming. trip to the top of my most annoying people ever list, buddy. I thought Damn, you and were that, going that to. That list is long. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to be a little stronger with that one, but. <laughs> Did he just destroy our evidence? Yeah. <laughs> fuck this man. I mean, this is his first your... time. I would this rather time. not <laughs> fuck this man. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done with your silly questions now? I'm a very busy man, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure you're busy. <sighs> I guess that's it for now. I love how nobody addressed his hair change. <laughs> yeah. they were all like, I've been yep. thinking about it. I was like, did I imagine this wrong? No, no. <laughs> no, he, I, no. Think our, I think our profile of him. Oh, even wait, has... I've just noticed he's yeah. goddamn shoulder pads of the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Ryan. There's a lot Ryan. going on with this man. Yeah. There's so much. Is this goddamn hair gonna be a fucking plot point? This. I bet. I <laughs> that would be incredible. Bet. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Labelle speaking. Really? You wish to carry my new product at your store? Bitch. Oh, but I'm afraid it's my own private brand. It's not available to the public. What? Then I shouldn't advertise it on TV? But I don't understand. As the embodiment of beauty, it is my duty to announce my good looks to the world. This guy is, you know what he is? He's, um, <laughs> he's like Red White's nephew. <laughs> yeah. Dear God. 100%. Stop yeah. the bus, I'm getting off. Or an ex. <laughs> Well, no, I don't know if he's in. How old is he? 33? A very young ex, maybe. Because it's been like. Eight, yeah, almost 10. Is, it's, it's been almost 10 years, years since the first like game. The of the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God. Everyone wants my exclusive Je suis le bel brand products. It's the crown jewel of my collection, born of my long, relentless pursuit of beauty. <coughs> but now that it's become so popular, it's been an absolute nightmare. You don't say. Well, they can't have it. It's just for me. What? It's not meant for you, peasants. Peasants? This is my latest product. I'm calling it Couleur Mi Le Belle. A dazzling hair color that you can wash out with just water. Yes, that means you can't sweat. I have seven colors in all. You can find out more in my commercials and magazine ads. Yet yeah, it's not available to the public. Great sales strategy there, genius. 
Come to think of it, Mr. LaBelle. Oh my god, now we're mentioning it. Your hair color's changed since the last time we met. Oh! <laughs> the little lady has quite the discerning eye. Okay. It's he, not like he it's not like her, it was a subtle change. I he mean, he calls her little lady, but I am firmly under the impression that Apollo is like five foot three, and Athena is like a solid like five foot eight or something. Like, yeah, <laughs> she definitely is way taller than Apollo. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Sarah, I hate that I'm never going to unsee the red-white relation. Welcome to my hell. Athena is like six foot, yeah. Tall Athena supremacy. I'm with you, Deej. Here's a little sample. Consider it a gift for one who truly appreciates beauty. Oh, so this is why Athena had to be quiet this whole conversation. <laughs> Oh, uh, Apollo, what should I do? Better take it before you get a face full of cologne. Good point. Wow, thanks, <laughs> Mr. LaBelle. <laughs> Washes out with water. Laurent LaBelle's own branding. Is it gener available? This des de definitely won't come up again. Definitely won't come up again! Yes, I've drawn Thena taller than Apollo. It's canon in my heart. Me too. Okay, let's head over to the fox chamber. I'm still gonna find the secret mechanism for opening the forbidden chamber. Even though it's forbidden. But, you know. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? We gotta open a forbidden chamber. Oh, Jesus. There is a- there's a fucking fruit fly. There's a fucking fruit fly. Alright, um Fox Chamber. Dun 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 Bam 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 Okay, let's find that secret mechanism for opening the Forbidden Chamber. Oh this is so exciting. I can't wait to see how it works. Do you really think uh but do you really think the killer entered the Forbidden Chamber? Oh Jesus. Yes. <laughs> we'll just have to open it and find out. We should also see if there was any anywhere the killer could have hidden this room. Uh, you behind know, like the behind screen. the screen or something. Like I said, <laughs> ages ago. Ow. Okay, let's get started. Oh, boy. Apparate? Um, Apparate? Apparate, I found an apparate. <laughs> I don't even know what fucking language that is. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Portuguese? Okay. Maybe? It does seem like a Oh, we should ask one. Zemo. What? Is that... Okay, whatever. Maybe the killer hid under this oh, table. we're looking for places that they hid? No. That would be a terrible hiding place. The only one's body would have been right above. Hmm, you're right. I guess this underside is a bit... Wait, there's something under the oh. table. Let's check it out. What? I... Oh! <laughs> We're kneeling down. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> it's the cup. Okay, I will say, this part of, of examining crime scenes is really fun in the 3D. Um... Like, get, getting a sense for, like, the dimensions of the room. I don't know. Uh, Spanish for hurry up. Okay. Is that not what Vamanos is? Yeah. Like... I guess things can have multiple. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Good thing your pants are already red, Apollo. <laughs> Mine aren't. I have to go to the fucking dry cleaners. Damn. Just be like, Oh, Vamanos be like, is let's go. Be like me and buy seven pairs of the same outfit. I mean, I do. Mine are just yellow. Oh. Hey, look! There's something down here! <gasps> it looks like a piece of something. Only question is, a uh, piece of what? And I, like I said, it's the fucking cup. <laughs> oh, I know! It might be a piece of the statue. Remember what Jinxie said? The statue originally depicted two yokai holding up a cup. It's a symbol of goodwill. So, this piece broke off and rolled under the table? A piece of bees nuts! 
Yeah. Uh, fucking hilarious. Amazing. Okay, I guess let's look at the door though. For real season. <laughs> Still no keyhole, huh? Yeah, and the door won't budge, just like those spiky bangs of yours. What? <laughs> well, I want to take you some water, but I don't think that would work on the door. <laughs> what? <laughs> he doesn't even. Wait, what? He no means if he goes in the shower, he... his hair gets wet, dude. Like. Oh. Oh! Okay, I thought he was meaning water was all it took to get them like that. No, he means okay. to. Yeah, he means to... if if you wash the gel out of his hair, then. <laughs> Yeah, they'll budge. Okay. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was shocked for a second. Oh my God. <laughs> what I love what I love about what I what I love about Apollo's daddy, um Justice Jove or Jove Justice. Oh fuck I Jesus Christ. Is that he's got the same he's got the same little two spikes, but they're always like down across his face instead of like way up <laughs> oh i know i'll break it down with a body slam this I, is what i've been I, saying I, I have been saying this i i i completely believe that you could do this athena but please don't how do you know i have if i haven't tried no way don't ah! As much as you hate losing, Athena, I think the door would win this match. <laughs> Alright. So, let's... let's I'm just powering this. up, like, in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> She's just give me, give, me, give me, like, 20. Ready. <laughs> yeah, give, give me 20 minutes. I'm just gonna Ooh, be shouting over here in the red. corner. Godspeed. Nothing much to see on this side. I mean, I should go check out the other side. Oh. Oh, okay. You mean this? Two foxes standing back to back are depicted on this elegant folding screen. Does this have something to do with the keyhole? Oh. Huh. Wait a minute. Two foxes. There are two fox statues in front of the cha Forbidden Chamber as well. Oh, bitch! <laughs> Maybe the keyhole will appear if we do something to this folding screen. Hmm. But I don't see anything unusual about no, it. I think it's the fox statues. Well, it does have two foxes on it, and there are two fox statues in front of the door. But maybe there's a clue somewhere in this room. Gee, I fuck it. Ow. Let's turn this whole place upside down. Yeah, gee, I fucking wonder. She's as excited as a kid in a candy store. Gee, I fucking wonder what we gotta do. Wait, do? The tails are the levers! Let's examine. Or the things in their mouths. There's a carving of the nine-tailed fox over the door and statues of him on either side. Except they're not nine-tailed. Those foxes clearly have a single tail. The way those two statues are glaring, it's like they're guarding the door from us. Come to think of it, there are two foxes on the folding screen as well. It can't be a coincidence, can it? Hey, this statue moves! Oh my god, of course she was touching shit. Don't get carried away now. I mean, uh, who knows? It might trigger a trap. <laughs> Ow. I can handle it. If a spear comes shooting my way, I'll snatch it out of the air. I believe <laughs> this. <laughs> After all, I had the reflexes of a regular karate kid. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that she Just was a regular such, one? such a jog. Such a jog. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you can catch something that fast out of midair, you can accomplish anything. Still. There might be something to the fact that these sta fox statues rotate. Maybe there's something around here that shows the position they should- Oh my god. We just saw it. Well, I can't <sighs> think of anywhere else to look. You find anything, Apollo? <laughs> we'll never find the keyhole to the Forbidden Chamber at this rate. There's something about that folding screen. You know how those two fox statues in front of the chamber, the chamber move? The screen move. Oh, I'm sorry. So we're supposed to position them or something. Yeah, but you're right. Now, let's go over to that screen with the fine-tooth comb. 
Wow. What? Do I have to look at it again? On closer inspection, I think there's more to this screen than meets the eye. Let's check every last inch of it. Uh, rotate the folding screen. Tap on something of interest to expect it further. Oh, you can also zoom in and out to get a better what look. What are you seeing? Oh, guys. We yeah. need to... <laughs> you know the right fox? Uh -huh. We have to turn the tail down. Mm. Uh -huh. Because the two tails here are like one's going up and the other one's going gotcha. down. Yeah, I bet that's it. So, like... Hey, doesn't it look like the picture here has been cut off on both ends? Hmm, now that you mention it. it. Looks like they're supposed to be doors on both ends, but they're cut in half. Oh no, maybe they're supposed to be facing each other. Oh, oh. yeah! Okay, maybe those yeah. doors symbolize the Forbidden Chamber's door. Yeah, it definitely feels like something significant, but the question is what? Oh! <laughs> 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 What's this? <laughs> it looks like a keyhole or something. You think it could be the keyhole to the Forbidden Chamber? No, it's just a picture. Still, you know what they say. A picture's worth a thousand words. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know the I know I know that th that in reality they're just like walking around this thing and looking at it, but because they're like you can like turn it every which way, the image of them just like picking this thing up and like just flipping it around by hand is just really funny. It's incredible. <laughs> I'm imagining like two people who are in a foreign country with like a really giant flimsy map that they just keep turning around and around and around and around. <laughs> it's a picture of a key. Huh, the shape looks awfully familiar. Oh, I know. It's shaped like the Forbidden Chamber's key. Huh. Wait, what about that keyhole drawn on the center of the screen? Oh my god. You think the two are related? Yeah, a key and a keyhole. Ooh, I just got an idea. <laughs> if we fold, if we folded the screen up just right, the key and the keyhole should overlap. Hey, I think you're right. Let's give it a try. <laughs> yeah, they gotta be facing each other. Look, a door. Yeah, and it's open too. The two foxes are now facing each other, so... Hey, what if we made those fox statues face each other? Apollo! Let's out! Let's go check out those two statues! Okay, help me move the two statues so they face each other. Just like on the screen. Whoa, we did it with our minds. He <laughs> <laughs> used the force. What? <laughs> a lock appeared. What if we made the fox statues kiss? No kiss. <laughs> now we can use the key. Okay, here goes nothing. Time to unleash Pandora's box. Right. It worked. Time to see why this chamber is so forbidden. <laughs> what secrets could it hold, I wonder? A bunch of dust, probably. Yeah. April 18th. QB Manor. Forbidden Chamber. Apollo and uh, Athena were found dead. <laughs> <laughs> These found are dead their in stocks. Miami. <laughs> ba -ba. <laughs> I mean, ba -ba -da -da. need some serious oil. Ah, that was like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, right. Forgot about those super good ears of yours. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> bitch, you forgot something. Oof, that's so tragic for him, bro. It's it's done. It's a done deal, man. I wonder who fucking was in here and also <laughs> killed the alderman. That's dope. <laughs> What 
the hell is that? <laughs> That's me. Is that a Ted <laughs> <laughs> But there's something odd about it. Uh, all I know is I don't like it. But I can't explain why. <gasps> there's a missing staff on the left. You okay, Athena? You look kind of pale. I'm just having a PTSD episode. I, you're not kind, you're not scared, are you? What? This thing? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> really? Hey, look. What? What is it? <laughs> Over there on the left. There's a bunch of staffs on that rack. They kind of look like the staff we saw earlier. You mean the one Jinxie said she, uh, she saw Tenmataro carrying? Yeah, I bet her Tenmataro impersonator really did come in here at some point. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's search the place. Or rather, you can't. I will stay here, guarding the door, away from everything scary. They've got really scary, ominous music playing <laughs> right now. Fuck. Everyone, reminder. White pants, White on, pants on pants. Hey, there's a bunch of staves here. It looks like one's missing. The Tenmataro Jinxie saw must have taken it. I'd have to agree. These look like the, the these look like the one Detective Fulbright showed us. Why do you think there's so many here? Maybe they're spares. Tenmataro might be, you know, absent-minded or something. But the fact that he has spare, spare staves handy, well... It shows he's aware of his faults and is trying to deal with them. <laughs> or at least that's my take on it. Maybe this will remind her to deal with her own faults. Like you don't have faults, Apollo! I, I, stop reading my damn mind! You know, that, hold that, my breath. <laughs> you know that's a, a key factor of being someone's partner. <laughs> is, is it now? Yes, like Maya could read Phoenix's mind, uh, Trucy could read your mind. It's just what happens, bro. Oh my God. Emma could read Phoenix's mind as well. Whoa, that's one big statue! <laughs> Must be something like 15 feet tall. And look, this Tenmataro has a staff. But the Tenmataro in the scroll didn't have one. Hmm, I wonder why. I feel like this could be significant. But why? Let's take a closer look. First, to go around this table here. Ah! Apollo, are you sure that's a good idea? Hey, it looks like there's some sort of compartment at the base of the statue. Don't open it! Who knows my baby in there? Why don't you listen to me? It's just a big empty compartment. From all the dust and cobwebs. I'd say it hasn't been opened in a really long time. That's enough, Apollo. Let's shut it in. Wait, there is something in here. What? <laughs> we grabbed a goblin. <laughs> Looks like some sort of figure, but it's so dusty I can't tell what it's supposed to be. I wonder what it's doing here. This is terrifying. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna look, look at everything game. except for the bottle of um, hair color. <laughs> Looks like an old scroll, and there's something drawn on it. Oh. Unless I'm mistaken, it looks like an old guy. <laughs> Some sort of monk, maybe? A monk? What are you talking about? You know, people that take walks in the mountain as a form of spiritual training. That's that's the only thing that monks do. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be a hiker? The guy in this picture doesn't look like he's doing this for fun, Athena. Hmm. Oh, look, there's some yellow thing strapped to his back. Whoa, it's turning into Tenmataro. What's this scroll getting at? Is this how Tenmataro was born? Oh, it's Big Bird's origin story! <laughs> well, whatever it is, it's definitely creepy. What's this say? Looks like a gravestone or something. It reads, Here lies Tenmataro, age 80. <laughs> Cause of death, choked on a chicken bone. <laughs> 
say it ain't so. Besides, that sounds more like an autopsy report than an epitaph, if you ask me. Wait, you're joking around because you're scared. It's your coping mechanism. I'm not scared. Freak out, Central! Right here, baby! <laughs> I don't know, Widget. Denial in this is strong in this one. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Denial is strong in this one. I, that, I, <laughs> I assume that was supposed to be a Star Wars reference. Back from college dorm chore hell. Welcome back, Sam. We got into the Forbidden Chamber. There's a window up here, bitch. Oh, look. There's an air vent here, too. I guess even forbidden chambers need proper ventilation. Hmm. I don't think anyone can reach this one either. Yeah, and there's nothing to stand on around here. I wonder where this this vent leads. Well, the vo the fox chamber's vent didn't branch this way, so maybe it doesn't have anything to do with the ca this case after all. <laughs> there's a light. Over the Frankenstein place. <laughs> Black feathers. They look exactly like the ones in the fox chamber. That means the killer must Becca. have been in here at some point. What? No. Please. What? They, they oh, are! <laughs> they are! They're selling shoes. Literally, I have the ad right here. They are. New merch alert. <laughs> Hellsight swag that definitely wasn't stolen from the president. <laughs> I'm. So it's true. <laughs> it's true. They know their audience. You got to give them that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they know their audience. Like, they, like they, they even they were selling um <laughs> they were selling T-shirts that have pizza on them, which everyone's like, oh, as a reference to Tumblr user pizza. <laughs> and they were and wait and we, did they come back and we're like, no, actually, we just like pizza. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not sure. I no, just know I that know. that that's a thing that was happening. God, remember Tumblr user pizza? I I miss them every day. Remember my only uh, my only viral Tumblr post. Wait, what was it? Forget. Happy Mother's Day to all the anime <laughs> mothers who died to provide a tragic backstory. <laughs> I mean, you knew your audience, kid. I did know my audience. It got like over a hundred thousand, uh, maybe a couple hundred. I wow. definitely at least a hundred thousand um, mm -hmm. notes at one point. I like tweeted it off the morning of Mother's Day while I was in college at one point. Uh, not tweeted, sorry. I posted <laughs> it um, without even thinking, uh, and then I went to breakfast with my friends. And then I was at breakfast, and I was like, why did my phone keep buzzing in my pocket? And then I opened it up, and I just, just notes after notes after notes. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Oh, I don't actually. I missed Tumblr speak. Good for you, Sarah. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, sorry. Did you read this? Yes. The question is, why? Maybe, maybe the Ten Matara costume was hidden here. I mean, if someone carried it through the manor, it would have stuck out like a sore thumb. But then, uh, but, but when did the killer get in here? The mayor snatched the forbidden chamber key when the ki killer hit him on the head. That means the killer could have only gotten in here before the murder. Wow, this is one tough riddle, all right. Yeah, I don't know anything except that Florent definitely did it, 100%. What's this? Gee, I wonder. <laughs> Whatever it is, the packaging is really gaudy. And the fact that there's no dust on it means it hasn't been here very long. Oh, it's hand cream. Let's see what brand it is. Oh. Je suis la belle. Je suis la belle. Je suis la belle. La belle? What the? What then? Wouldn't that mean Mr. La Belle was here? I guess so. Who <laughs> why? Well, whoever was dressed up like Demataro must have taken his staff from here in the Forbidden Chamber. And that same person probably dropped his hand cream at that time. 
In other words, the Temo Tower impersonator we're looking for is none other than... Flora LaBelle! <gasps> this might be a big break for us in court tomorrow. Now all we have to do is get the truth out of Mayor Tenma. Alright. Let's fucking go. I guess that about wraps it up. We, just... we can leave and never ever, never return. Je suis français. Je suis fatigué. <laughs> <laughs> Or what now? Let's all go take French lessons. That was atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm remembering when I got 100% on French, and now I can't even say entrepreneur. Oh, oh I said too. it. <gasps> you did you it! You said it! L'entrepreneur. That's, that's the one word I can never do. Fair. <laughs> anyway, continue, sorry. We should probably talk to some of the witnesses again. You mean like Mr. Filch and Jinxie? Yeah. I really want to ask Mr. Filch about the village superstitions in Tenmataro. I'll steal my soul! <laughs> I bet he's in the foyer. The foyer, yeah. <laughs> it's the curse! The curse! The curse of Tenmataro! Oh my god. You outsiders are ignoring them superstitions at our peril. Mind your own business, will ya? That. <laughs> oh no! He stole oh. Paula's bracelet again, too. What's all this about a curse? Tem Mataro's gonna curse us all unless you stop sticking your nose where you don't belong. Stop the investigation. Listen to what them superstitions say. Right, um, how about obeying the law before you go obeying the superstitions? Huh? Hey, what are you doing with Richard around your neck? He's mine! You know better than to go around stealing people's stuff like that! The same goes for my bracelet! S sorry, sorry, I promise I won't do it again! You absolutely will, and I don't forgive you. <laughs> oh! Psst, he almost kidnapped my sweet little widget. The big jerk! I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, I guess you can't keep teach an old raccoon dog <laughs> tricks. Tanuki. <laughs> Tanuki. As long as we have him here, I guess we should ask him about what happened. <laughs> hey, bitch. Yeah? <laughs> that glitch, though. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe you did that. It's one thing to steal a pair of shoes, but to steal a widget! <laughs> Grr! <laughs> Sorry, I had to edge my elbow. Yikes! Mercy! Mercy! I can't seem to control myself. It's the thieving blood running in my veins. Thieving blood? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Glad you asked. <laughs> The infamous bandit Azuki Kozo was my grandpappy. Take a gander at this. I read gander is gender for a second. I was like, what? Take a gender, any gender. This is oh. my gender. Oh. It's been my passed gender down a through <laughs> Well, it's been passed down through generations. <laughs> what okay, exactly is... am I looking at? <laughs> Looks like another one of those yokai to me. It's none other than the Azuki Kozo. Robbed from the rich to give to the poor, he did. And he'd leave me one of these figures at the scene of the crime. What's more, I'm his grandson because he was my grandpappy. Wow, you don't say. Gigi, he was my Gigi. Eve's honor, it's the honest truth. Ah. Uh, the slashing sound of Azuki beans scraping together in the dead of night. It's the magical sound of dirty money getting washed clean for giving out to the poor. I'm Azuki Kozo, washer of money, giver out of wealth, reborn! I don't think you are, man! Yeah! <laughs> you just. Hmm. You just have a. You're kind of a klepto. Yeah. <laughs> Forget the money. You should be washing yourself of this nasty habit. <laughs> oh! 
Wait a second. This figure looks familiar. Yes, it looks just like that old dusty figure we found in the Forbidden Chamber. Oh my god, so his grandpa stole something from there. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are you doing with that there figure? Oh, this? We found it in the Forbidden Chamber. Looks like it'd been there practically forever. Hmm. Could me and my grandpappy broke into the Forbidden Chamber way back- Wait, you guys went to the Forbidden Chamber? <laughs> yeah, listen. Uh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <gasps> we well. need to give him Edzuki beans to Taka. <laughs> For the good time. <laughs> yes. so, you're For so the right. good oh time. Taka would love Edzuki beans. We need to I give him it. the Edzuki beans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that reminds me. He once told me there's treasure in that there chamber. Treasure? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting sleepy. I'm, I'm EP. We're, we're close to the end, though. Okay. What do you know about the treasure in the Forbidden Chamber? <laughs> Only that it's the greatest get-rich-quick chance in the universe. YouTube babe, Simon Blackman, let's play an octopus boyfriend. Oh god, I would love that. <laughs> he would get so invested, I think. He would. Grandpappy told me all about it. Said there's an amazing treasure in there. There's something amazing in there? Didn't see anything like that, though. Your grandfather didn't by chance already steal it, did he? Seeing how there was one of his figures in there. That just might be. <laughs> That's <laughs> grandpappy for you. They washed that treasure up real good before handing it out to the poor. Oh, of course, because he was so righteous. Apollo, don't shit. Oh, whatever, okay. That was probably sarcasm. Yeah. That was probably. In court, you mentioned seeing Temataro near the scene of the crime. Sorry I didn't come clean right away, but them superstitions got the better of me. The people in Ninetales Vale start, sure seem like a superstitious bunch. I'm not surprised you wouldn't want to talk about seeing Temataro. Right? Them superstitions scare me out of my wits, I tell you! Huh. That's why I'm gonna do exactly what they say from now on. So you plan on staying here in Ninetales Vale? Yep. I'm gonna keep living here and keep with the old ways, just like Grandpappy did. Them superstitions are like a rule are book to me. Are they now? Because I remember one in specific. Wait. So you're saying you actually believe in those old wives' tales? Ain't you been listening to a word I said? You're going to do exactly what them superstitions say? Well, I say that's baloney. There's one that's like, if you see Ten Mataro, then uh, you leave forever. <laughs> yeah, it's this one. Take that! Take that! It's clearly written right here. Ignoring the superstitions will cost you your soul. There is, however, one way to save it. Your immediate departure from the village. <laughs> so according to this, you shouldn't even be here, let alone talking with us. You said you plan on staying right here in Ninetales Vale? If you really believed in the superstitions, you would have been long gone by now. <laughs> I know you've been lying to me. Time to come clean, Mr. Filch. Yikes! Oh? You were lying about believing in the superstitions, weren't you? Sorry, but I didn't have no choice. So, what was the real reason you couldn't talk about seeing Tenmataro? It's all that pretty boy's fault, Mr. Little Bill, if you know what I mean. He told me not to say a word about seeing Tenmataro. Said if I did, he'd do to me what them superstitions said would happen. So, it was Mr. LaBelle who muzzled you. Why would Mr. LaBelle want to scare you into silence? Mr. LaBelle was trying to protect that little maid gal. Apollo, I don't know what you mean. He's not even close to pretty. <laughs> Apollo's got <laughs> boyfriend blinders on. <laughs> yeah. Just because I...
dissuade his advances doesn't mean I can't appreciate the aesthetics, okay? It was an account of that rumor. The one about her being possessed. That rumor again. I guess we really do have to talk to Mayor Tenma about the possession rumor. Oh my god. Ouch! Hey, watch <laughs> it! He died. <laughs> <laughs> Village Rude. superstition stolen. I'll be taking this back down. <laughs> kind of like family to me. You could have just asked instead of stealing it. Was that all we wanted to ask Mr. Filch? Yeah, I think that was it. Let's go see Mr. Ten Mataro one more time. Just thinking about dealing with that yokai again makes me want to say pass. Okay, bye. Oh, you were. Uh, I, I thought you were saying bye to someone in in chat or something. I was like, what? no, I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so confused. What are you doing? You are a menace. Lord Tenma, your attorneys are here to see you. Your male malevolence. <laughs> Um. Why are you speaking like that? <laughs> oh, Mayor Tenma, you've returned. Jerry Cameo's heart. <laughs> Squirrel, what are you screaming? Yes, well, Jinxie came by earlier to apply a new charm to my head. Oh. It seems to be suppressing the demon within me. That's a relief. Maybe we'll actually get somewhere this time. So, what can I do for you today? I'd like to ask about the rumor that Jinxie is possessed. Ah. She allegedly left the yokai evidence at the scene while under a demon's power. At least that's what the prosecution is going to claim at tomorrow's trial. <laughs> <laughs> Deej, I just realized that's Max Kiryu voice. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty close. <laughs> huh? Ca -ca! No matches this warding charm for me. Ah, the charm! Tamatara's back! Dad voice for dads. <laughs> These foolish mortals, they shall regret blaming that child for my doings. Uh, I blew it. That question brought that yokai back. And he probably won't drop the Akin until Jinxie's name is cleared either. Okay, well, let's try talking to him. I'd like to ask you about something your aide Florent LaBelle mentioned. Did you know Jinxie is rumored to be possessed? I know not, not of what you speak. You're not trying to protect Jinxie, are you? I, Tenmataro, Demon Lord of the Yokai, protect a mere mortal? Cuckoo! No affections do I possess for your race of human. Please, we already proved there was a third party disguised as a Yokai at the scene. The scene. <laughs> if you deny that tomorrow, they'll never be able to clear Mayor Tenma's name. Hmm. But I have already told you, I know not of what you speak. I don't think we'll, we'll get anything more out of him. It's all over unless we can somehow prove that Jinxie didn't plant that yokai evidence. Hey, Apollo. I think I've got this one. I think I could prove that she didn't do it. Really? Sure! Ow. I should be able to use psychology to explain that whole possession thing. Knock yourself out, then. Wow, Athena's really something. I can really count on her when it counts. Oh, Aww. Aww. Mayor Tenma, Jinxie isn't possessed. I believe her so-called possession episodes are a form of somnambulism. Um, somnambulism. <laughs> somnambulism? You mean sleepwalking? Yes, I believe she is exhibiting a rare form of the disorder. It's usually brought on by repressed stress. 
Mr. Mayor, didn't her system start, start soon after she began her job in Ninetales Vale? Hmm. When the child vanished last, she did speak of dreading yokai and how they rob her of her sleep each night. I knew it! That lack of sleep is causing her to enter an unconscious state. And that means she can't be trying to protect you. Uh, at least not on a conscious level. So then, the Ten Mataro that was spotted at the manor wasn't Jinxie. Sleepwalking, eh? <sighs> that would indeed explain the matter. Look! Ten Mataro's spirit! It's left the mayor's body! <laughs> Can you tell us the truth now, Mayor Tenma? Very well. It's the least I could do for a superb exorcist such as you. <laughs> I love them. These two are like besties immediately. Yeah, I love Athena and Apollo. <laughs> mm -hmm, they're great. Mayor Tenma, you didn't leave those feathers and tracks at the scene, did you? I did not. Neither I nor Jinxie have anything to do with that. That was... the killer's doing, no doubt. I knew it! You suspect Florent is behind all this? But why? Did he really want Ninetales Veil vale that badly? Can you think of any reason why? Hmm. <laughs> Looking back, he did seem fixated on Tenma Taro for a spell. Ah! Could it be? Perhaps he was attempting to release Tenma Taro. That's crazy! Are you saying that yokai is real? Whatever the case, Tenma Taro brings nothing but pain and misfortune. It's as the superstitions warn. You must not gaze upon him, nor free him from his prison. But... How can people actually believe that? Apollo? Well, at least we know who's behind this whole Tenmataro thing now. Yeah. There's... Also, stop... Stop being mean about people's religions, bro. I'm, I'm trying to overcome my biases. And I think we have to have another nice long chat with Mr. LaBelle. Genuinely, I've got, cannot I've got wait a, for that. I've got a storied history with religion. Your your <laughs> d d d d dinner is ready, your malevolence. <laughs> it's time to dine. An offering to the demon king. You may place it right there. Welcome to t -t 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 Target! The, the kitchen crew pulled <laughs> the kitchen crew pulled their hood the, and stole it to make it. it. Sorry, that's the other Jerry. We say things at the same time sometimes. You can't the... tell if it, you can't tell if it's true okay. or yeah, not because we're because both speaking. We're both saying it. Um. Did they know? Souls happen to be a favorite of mine. Just hold the hearts next time, Jerry's. Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll do, man. Uh, we'll, we'll, yes, you're more lovely. Let's we'll re we'll remember that definitely. How okay, off to our date. <laughs> yeah, bye! At the therapist! <laughs> <laughs> How long is he planning to keep up this yokai charade? Well, we've talk already talked to Mr. Filch and Ms. Mayor Tenma, so... Why don't we go see Florent LaBelle next? Now that we know the truth. We won't be able to claim that the Tenma Tara was Jinxie or the mayor anymore. The real question is, how are we going to get him to admit it was him? I don't know that any mortal being could do that. Is okay. it different again? It is, it's like purple. It's purple now. <laughs> okay, now let's practice that again, Filchi. From the top. Wait, is Rand gone? Ah! Uh, Mr. LaBelle was in okay. the foyer at the time of the crime. And when we, um, um, heard a scream, uh, 
Oh heck, what was the next part again? You have the memory capacity of a flea! This is the thirtieth time you know. Now, a hundred times more and we're done. <laughs> what on <laughs> earth are they practicing? What the fuck do you think they're practicing, Apollo? Their testimony. <laughs> oh, I ain't cut out for this. Whoopsie daisy! Oh! Oh, begging your pardon, Mr. Bill, sir. Ah, no, no. <laughs> psst, psst. Unbelievable. What if you had sullied my outfit with those grubby paws of yours? Uh, Did Filch filch LaBelle's wallet just now? <laughs> I'm gonna redistribute this. <laughs> I'm spending all of his credit cards. <laughs> so... What do you think they're up to this time, Apollo? I think it's fucking obvious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's you two. Eavesdropping, are we? Pfft. You peasants are so tacky. Well, what do you want with me? Your confession to being the Tenmataro imposter would be nice right about now. Mr. Filch filled me in on a conversation you two had. About how you told him not to say a word about saying, seeing Ted Mataro? Phil, you fool! <laughs> I told you nothing good would come of you running your mouth! So, why did you want to keep Mr. Vilch quiet like that, Mr. Bella Bell? <laughs> <laughs> why? To protect darling little Jinxie, of course. But Jinxie was never really possessed. She was sleepwalking. Being asleep at the time, she couldn't have been consciously trying to protect the mayor. That also means she couldn't have possibly been Tenmataro. Interesting. But where are you going with this? Since you asked so politely, I believe you have a different reason for trying to keep Mr. Filch quiet. That reason would be to deflect doubt away from the one who was really Tenmataro. <laughs> now this is getting interesting. Guys, don't give them all his cards. Yeah. Th th you? This is the unfortunate thing about Ace Attorney attorneys all the time, is that they always uh -huh. they love to go confront the bad guy. Not in court, outside of court, where the bad guy can do stuff like tase them and steal their evidence. <laughs> Are you insinuating that I'm Tenmataro? I'm so sorry to disappoint, but I'm nothing of the sort. Mr. Von Karma's taser's so good. Great. Uh, God, throwback. That's back. what! Mr. Uh, 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 I said Tenmataro was Jinxie, you fool. Honestly, you have the memory capacity of a flea, a flea! Practice it a hundred more times. <laughs> so, uh, have you been called to testify tomorrow? Yes, and I'm so looking forward to my courtroom debut. But you'll just have to wait until then. <laughs> oh, I'll be waiting. A special piece of evidence I've been saving just for you. Oh, thank God. Apollo's smarter than Phoenix, and he's not gonna just show it to him. <laughs> Filchy. Wake up, you lazy bones. Huh? What? Was, was I sleeping? <sighs> oh, must have been that sweet cologne of yours, Mr. LaBelle. Give me right sleepy, it did. Well, it's time. Like Filch is giving them answers. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Directly. <laughs> oh my god, yeah! <laughs> well, it's time for your lesson on what to do and say tomorrow. I don't like this lesson. Not another. Please, please. I ain't cut out for this thinking and remembering stuff. Please, 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 please. please. Ah! <laughs> right on the schnozzle wall. Keep quiet and do exactly as I say. Oh, please! Anything but another lesson! He's 
dragged off. <laughs> there they go. There they go again. <laughs> That's our chance to get the truth out of him. Yeah, but we'll get the proof we need in court tomorrow, one way or another. All that's left now is that lie Jinxie told. We better go clear that up before tomorrow. You think they're done questioning Jinxie? They've been doing it all fucking day. <laughs> yeah, I'd hoped so. Let's see if she's over on Yokai Lane shopping for more charms. I can tell you all, this is the last scene. So thank you for bearing Yay. with me this long. No, it's not a bearing. It's been fun, but I'm also I'm tired. Well, I yeah. we didn't space out the breaks very well this time, so oh, oh. oh, my grudge has been fested over time. At last vengeance will be mine. <laughs> you must be possessed or er, sleepwalking again. Maybe if I speak softly I won't startle her and get a charm plastic <laughs> in my forehead. Psst. Jinxie. Huh? Oh, hi, Mr. Demon Lawyer. Oh. <laughs> it worked! Uh, my charms must have fallen off again. Whew. Guess I can avoid a charm slap by toning down my cords of steel. <laughs> Are they done questioning you, Jinxie? I mean, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and on the way back, I stopped here to buy a new charm that was just released. It's like, you know, exclusive. Yeah, which one? <laughs> oh, um, the one with the nine-tailed fox and the ten mataro. It shows them dancing together. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought it was Athena. So did I. <laughs> really? Two bitter dancels? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Two bitter rivals dancing together? <laughs> that word, dancels. <laughs> I want to keep I'm saying so... it. Um, okay. Uh huh. It's a charm for rebuilding burnt bridges. Between dancels. Yeah. All right. For the main um, <laughs> For the merger <laughs> issue. <laughs> no. It's for the demon lawyer and the insomniac prosecutor. I, I, I'm not the one who needs to build bridges with that dude. It'll stop you two from fighting like you did in the court this morning. Aww. <laughs> we weren't fighting, it was just a spirited debate. <laughs> it's what we learned. Uh. No fighting. There will <sighs> be no conflict resolution. <laughs> Charm slapped again. Oh, if you're done playing around, let's find out what she was lying about. <laughs> I'm talking to her like a person, of Athena. What do you remember? Jinxie, it seems like you're starting to remember things. You already said that the feathers and tracks weren't there when you discovered the crime. Have you remembered anything else that seems important? Um, like what? Tell us what you saw that day. Maybe you'll remember something else this time. When I opened the door, Papa and Ultimate QB were collapsed in the fox chamber. That's when Papa told me to call an ambulance and the police. Oh, he spoke to her. That's all he said before he passed out in the chair. Uh. I knew it. She's holding something back. Yeah, my urge to slap you in the forehead again. Jinxie. Okay, wait. It seems like you're starting to remember things. <laughs> Tell us what you saw. <gasps> oh, okay. I have to click on the bracelet icon specifically. All right. <laughs> That's all he's. Okay, wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's the. I have to wait for it to. Loop back around. Her her finger is shaking when she's saying that's all he said. Confirm. Gotcha. You were very nervous when you said that's all he said, weren't you? I know because I saw your fingers move as if you were going to slap someone with a charm. 
Listen to me, Jinxie. This is very important. Did Mayor Tenma say anything else to you? It, it, it was, um, it was not, it was nothing. He was just talking in his sleep. Talking um, in his sleep? Do we admit that he did say something else? Oh. <laughs> Could you tell? Uh, only a demon could have such powers. I thought we established that you already think I'm a demon. <laughs> this just confirms it more. Mm. Um. Uh. Like I said, he was just talking in his sleep. Uh, I mean, why else would they, why else would Papa say something like that? Could you be a little more specific? Um, before he f fainted, he, he said, Forgive me, Jinxie. I killed Alderman QB. What? He said what? <laughs> the mayor actually confessed to the crime? He didn't mean it. He couldn't possibly have known what he was saying. He was probably possessed, or maybe he was in the middle of a nightmare. A nightmare? No, this is a nightmare. This is one statement I wish I'd never heard. What in the world are we going to do now? Return to the basics? That's right. Always believe in your client, no matter what happens. Even if they fucking tell you that they did it. <laughs> <laughs> That is a lawyer's greatest and most trusted weapon. <laughs> it's just foolhardy, blind <laughs> trust. Right. Just believe in my client, even if all I can see ahead is darkness and despair. Jinxie, does Prosecutor Blackwell know about your father's confession? Oh, 100% sure he does. Oh. Okay. I didn't mention it to him when he was questioning me. I mean, there's no way Papa's the killer, and I held on for those. Why, why would the mayor confess like that? Could he really have been dreaming, or simply delirious? Who knows? But I sure feel like I'm living a nightmare right now. Apollo, what are we going to do about tomorrow's trial? Wing it like normal. <laughs> The crime scene was locked tight until Jinxie arrived, and our clients even confessed. Not only that, Jinxie had been accused of planting the yokai evidence. What if I said Backstreet Jerry's back? <laughs> All right! Welcome back, Jerry! <laughs> Hope you had a good away time. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. Both the mayor and Jinxie are going to prison if we don't do something! Did you think I don't know that? <laughs> Well, let's see here. Ooh. I love this music. What the fuck? Our lack of a third problem. Third party in the locked room is a major problem. Jinxie has testified that when she first opened the door, Alderman Kiwi and Mayor Tenma were the only people she saw in the Fox Chamber. But the real killer must have been hiding in there as well. Considering the room was locked tight, that's the only logical explanation. Our mystery person must have then fled the fox chamber when it was opened. And that's, and when... that's when- Oh. <laughs> and that's when Jinxie saw what she thought was Tim Mataro. This is the problem with them both having A names yeah. uh, that are approximately the same length. <laughs> yeah. Cowboy Minute! Oh my- Hell yeah. <laughs> Can we save that- Jerry. Can we save that for later? Because I don't even fucking know where my cowboy hat is. <laughs> We're so close to the ending. It will take a rain check. We'll remember that you. Um... Yeah, because I can. I think I can even um, save. Um... Let's take the taro. <laughs> I think there's a way to. Anyway, yeah. I, I put put a rain check on that. You got a you got a free cowboy minute to. Um... To uh, redeem later, I promise I'll fish out my my cowboy hat in the in the coming days, so you can actually <laughs> redeem it. But, but... Pop, 
Pearl and the Alderman were the only people there. I didn't see anyone else. What's going on here? Abel's extremely pale, but he's far from transparent. So just how did he hide himself at the scene of the crime? I bet he was, like, in the fox chamber when they had the meeting. <laughs> yeah. 100%. He was in there. He had put in the costume. <laughs> yep. Mm. Or not. I don't know. Whatever it takes in court tomorrow, Apollo. We have to take down that dirty, rotten Temetaro Florent the Bell! Right. We'll get him with a legal exorcism, justice style! <laughs> oh, and awesome. sex style! But also justice style! <laughs> Good job, job everybody. We Good did job, it! Yay, we did it! We did it! Woohoo! <laughs> Moving is enough of a bitch. I don't. Even, you are not a bitch, Jerry, for uh, requesting your your uh. What's what's the word? Your cowboy the word. roots. Your cowboy. The bit. fruits of your label. No, <laughs> label. not the fruits of your labor. <laughs> labor. <laughs> your just rewards. I don't know. Anyway, your just desserts. Just Points. desserts. That's what I was thinking Points. about. Oh, just desserts. Oh, okay. Well, good job, everybody. Let me save state. There we fucking go. Oh, it's still going. It's still trying to type. <laughs> That's terrifying. Good job, everybody. We made it. Stereographer was like, no, <laughs> no, no. I will type the date. We date, will keep bitches. going. Uh, <sighs> thank you so much, everybody. Keep yawning. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm like actually really tired now. Um, mm. Thank you, see. everybody. Yeah, thank you so much for showing up. Um, it was fun. This was a wonderful, fun time. I'm so EP. I'm just gonna. I I might just go to bed. Oh well, I do want to play Fall Guys after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh bed. <laughs> Me. Okay, I'll play one round of Fall Guys <laughs> and then I'll go to bed. I yeah, then I then promise. you go to sleep. Yeah, thank Plot. you everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Um, I I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, a uh, great holiday weekend. If you are in the U.S. and you get a long weekend because of it, <laughs> um, I'll be back next Wednesday. So yeah, as uh. As, as a heads up, I am going to start um, even the Wednesday stream at 7 p.m. Uh, from now on. And <laughs> Gerald RX40 on Epic for Fall Guys. Oh, I do need to do that, actually. Hold on. Oh, yay, sir. Oh. Wait. Oh, God. The Epic window closed. <laughs> it's Canada Day. We also have a long weekend. Nice. Um... So yeah, enjoy the enjoy the holiday weekend if you are Canadian or American. Um, <laughs> um, I get to go hang out with my fam and Becca tomorrow, so <laughs> um, that is very fun. But yeah, I hope you all have a restful weekend um, and a fun one. I will see you next Wednesday, and if not, then next Friday um, when we'll actually hopefully finish up this case. Um, mm. fingers crossed that we get all the way through it so. <laughs> I, that, that is, that is my, my hope and my goal so anyway in the good meantime night, oh sorry good night everybody good night everybody, <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> we'll see good you night. later good night, good night. Good night. <laughs>